And we're back for our second of three live streams, but this is the big one. It is the match day live, and it is every it's our reaction to every kick of all and every moment as Arsenal returns to Premier League action against Crystal Palace. Earlier, we had Lee and Julian joining us as well as we broke down the 11, which is out. We will recap that in a sec. We welcome back Turkish and Cecil now to um, yeah react to what is a big, big game for Arsenal. Palace home. This is a round of applause. We're clapping, we're clapping. Yeah. Oh, I mean, doesn't know that... Turkish hates clapping. Oh, I'm, cl I'm clapping for his beard. His beard looks amazing. <laughs> I don't hate clapping. It's been a while since I've seen Tosin and he deserves a clap. Okay. But in general, I have to reiterate, I see Laurie, James and Cecil day in, day out, and I'm going to sit here and clap them. No. That's a blessing for some people. Right? What's a blessing? To see me every day. To boy. see you is a blessing. Yeah, man. Which God has to be paid for, for that to happen? I'm going to stop that one. It's a blessing, my G. <laughs> And you're sharing a sofa this week. Great. <laughs> Great. One week glory, one week Cecil. I don't know who's worse. Blessings. <laughs> Is that blessings? <laughs> blessings. Stop the blessings. blessings. <laughs> Stop the blessings, please. I'm good. I've had enough. I've had enough. I mean, one will talk to you about Eddie and Ketia, and the other will sit halfway along the sofa. And oh, yeah. Nah, man. Nah, oh, yeah. The last time, yeah. <laughs> Oh, a good. pound for every time these men mention Eddie's name. But you've just mentioned it. So <laughs> no, he mentioned it. <laughs> no, he just mentioned it. Yeah, but so did you. No, but I'm saying, oh, let's oh. start something for charity. A pound for every time. You know. <laughs> <laughs> The thing about Laurie, yeah, he brings up Eddie Sommer, he wants to talk about him, and now he's realised he's fucked up. He's, he's going the opposite way. Saying, if you mention him, it's a pound in. Now he doesn't want to talk about it. Why? Why? No, I do. I want to raise money for charity. Ah, so a no. pound. Really. Yeah, no so that's a pound. Fair enough. We'll sit with you two for a sec. The 11's out. Um, any... Thumbs up, thumbs down? Mo what it's just a Martinelli thing for me, um, yeah. which uh, I think people, you know, have their, their thoughts on recently saying he's not informed, but I, I don't... I think he's a better option. You think he's informed? To Trossard. No, I don't think he's informed. I didn't say that. I just think he's the better option to Trossard, in my opinion. So that's the only thing I would have changed. But apart from that, happy to see everything. Obviously, Ramsdale's not in goal, but we're not going to go into that conversation. But that's what we said when we did the predicted 11. I would like to have seen. But the team's good enough to make, yeah, what I want to see an example of Palace today. Mm. Yeah, same. I'm not happy that Martin and he's not starting because I think it's a, it was a game prime for him to maybe, you know, kickstart. In the second half, it's Palace at home. Palace are in disarray. They're a mess. Best player injured at the moment. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of um, controversy with the owners. Fans want them out. This for me is the perfect game. Not only for Martinelli, but Jesus, Saka, Odegaard, Havertz. You know, to find that you know flow in front of goal. Mm. But for Martinelli to be the one pulled out after two weeks, you know, a two-week break, where I would have hoped that you know he also looks at himself and Arteta looks at him. I think we should have gone in with the front four that you know we all expected to go in with. So you're okay with Havertz starting midfield? I'm not okay with Havertz at the club, but here we are. <laughs> Don't get him started. With though. today's <laughs> options of players, you're okay with Havertz starting midfield? No, Emil Smith Rowe should have started. I think that, especially with the comments Arteta's made, not only this week about Emil Smith Rowe, but you. three weeks ago as well, he said the same thing. Okay. You know, he asked himself, we, well, he said we need to give him minutes. Palace at home. Mm. We're not finding our flow from the attacking midfield to, to attack, in my opinion. And, and Emil Smith Rowe, in the in the brief period he had early on, he was you know in front of goal. He was he was very good, very efficient for us. So I would have hoped that Emil Smith Rowe started, um, but it, it wasn't to be, and here we are. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I mean we said on the starting eleven show it would have been Jorginho for me, um, mm. oh, yeah. but that seems to be the, the, the Martin one's interesting. It feels like because there are three players that could play in that role, whether it be Martinelli, Trossard, Nelson. You know, if Martinelli's not at it, there is a, a temptation for Arteta to mix it up. With Saka, there isn't. Nelson doesn't feel like a natural right winger for me, more of a left winger. Mm -hmm. um, and Saka's form, OK, his number's far better than Martinelli's this season. I'll give him that. Um, his performance have been, haven't been much better, if any better at all. I think they have been better. Um, I, I would say I don't have a huge problem with the team, to be honest. I think the starting eleven. Like Turkish said, I think Cecil said it as well, there's enough there to beat Palace, so mm -hmm. I don't hear no excuses. This team should beat Palace. Mm -hmm. That's the bottom line. Where I do have an issue with Arteta is, is in-game management and the way um, you look at the subs. To me, that is a strong bench, and those guys on the bench should get, well, not all of them, obviously, but the likes of Martinelli, Smithrow, dare I say, EN, 
man like that, they should get some one game pound. time today. When, when I say game time, I mean <laughs> E-N. That is one pound. I said E-N. It's one pound. It's one pound. You mentioned okay, it. Okay, I'll give the pound. Right. Um, <laughs> listen, Trossard, let's talk about Trossard, right? I felt sorry for Trossard. When we played Liverpool, this man was brought on in the 88th minute when we needed to score a goal. What, what is he expected to do in a couple of minutes yeah. going to? No, so for him to start today, I'm actually pleased for him because... I want to see how he gets on today. Um, he's not been playing that well, granted, but we know he's a good player and on his day, he can make a big difference. So I don't have a huge problem with the team. The team it is what it is. That team, as far as I'm concerned, is more than capable of getting a win at home against Palace. OK, but uh, here's, the, here's the big question, though, Tosin. If, if Arsenal go out and play... <laughs> I was about to say, as we played before, where we lost three games, but we didn't play. Let's say we don't get the result we want. Let's say the performance is a bit drab. Let's say, say yeah. Havertz isn't playing that well. Let's say Trossard doesn't look like an out-and-out -out winger. Let's say Zinchenko isn't in his best form. Like, whatever it might be, some of Raya has a moment, like he's mm -hmm. had a few times this season. Is the feeling going to be, we took two weeks away and we're, we've just come back doing the same things? Yeah. Like, and, and, that, and that will turn the heat up. Like... Today could swing in so many different ways. Mass it, it could feel like the mass start meltdowns. of, like you know, the big second half of the season, mm -hmm. or it can feel like, wow, like you really just went away and came back with the same ideas. Yeah, to be honest, it's it's a weird one because I look at Arsenal. I'm just, I'm asking myself, is it is it a thing where players are tired and jaded, or is this a system thing? And I think it's both. I think if you look at some players like Saka and Rice, they actually look tired. They actually look like they need a break. Yeah, I agree. But if you look at some of the issues in the team, like what Turkish pointed out about how the, the link between midfield and attack is disjointed and the link between defence and midfield is disjointed, then that's a system thing. So if Arsenal go out and then turn in dog poo like they did against Fulham, like, am I going to be saying, oh man, I'm not going to be saying that. I'm like, you can go on a holiday, you can do all of these things, but if the tactics if the manager's approach is still the same thing, I won't be surprised to see like the same results. So I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to be proved wrong that it was just like a tiredness thing and it yeah. wasn't a system thing. Fair. Is this um, look? I know we it's, if we've got to focus on the next ninety, I hear that. But how much should Arteta be putting forward to the players the opportunity of the coming weeks? Now I'm not saying, oh, you know, we're playing a load of crap teams, go on a you know six match winning run. I'm not saying that, but. Liverpool travel to Bournemouth and they host Chelsea before they come to the Emirates. So if we do our job, we're at least hoping that if we beat them, we cut the, the lead down to two. But who knows? We may even leapfrog the current leaders. Like, how much do you sell the bigger vision to them as well, Turkish, and go, take this, build some momentum, and yet yeah, actually do look ahead, look at the opportunity and take this as step one? I don't think they, sh they need to be told this you know uh, last year they were very much protected by the whole young team sure. one of the youngest if not the youngest in the league that you know that argument can be brought into this season as well but I don't think it washes this season I think you know you, you've had a learning curve last year there was a learning curve the year before that pain in the top four race pain in the title race I think now over the last few games you know that's equal pain as well so how are you going to return from this I don't think you know I, I think Arteta does need to you know guide them, he needs to motivate them, but they also need to motivate themselves. They also need to realise, you know, I'm seeing a lot of family talk, we're a family. I'm seeing a lot of, you know, that rest was needed and we're ready for, don't say it, do it, you know. <clears throat> Put them to the sword because I think your question earlier, I wanted to add to it in terms of the type of performance. I don't think even a 2-1 or a, or a closely fought well, victory like that, even a 2-0 conceding in, in the last 10 minutes like we did to Nottingham Forest this season, for example, mm -hmm. would be acceptable. I think... We need to, you know, we need to score three, four goals. We need to keep it tight at the back and, and move into the next game because the next four fixtures are, are very, very big fixtures and we need to start this, this well. Well, the, the run-up to Porto, which includes West Ham away, which includes Liverpool. Not Forest away, Liverpool at home, yeah. the run-up to that first Porto tie, there's just like... And, 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 you know, I think, I don't know, it's just become this cliche, like a lot of people say, like, you know, focus on the next game, you know, 19 minutes, one step at a time. But sometimes I do think you need to recognise the opportunity that's in front of you and go, like, if Arteta, I, I wouldn't mind if Arteta said this, we love the Amazon Prime, we were talking about Amazon Prime in the documentary earlier. I'd love to see the cameras just all the time. Like, I'd love to know if Arteta's, you know, just put a circle around that date, pull to away. Like, that's when we return to the Champions League. You should be looking forward to that. 
And this is the opportunity. You've got the chance to go back into that competition in the thick of a title race. Not now kind of hanging on, but looking more like a top four race. In the thick of it, and then back with everyone like galvanised for that. Like, I think they need to take their mind off Porto. Yeah, well, and just not really not think Champions League. Yeah, because if they think too much about it, they'll go into Porto without anything but Champions League. In the way they left. thought about City last season, yeah. where yeah. that game... I bet, but I'm just talking as a marker. I'm talking as like a, an opportunity for momentum. Because they need to start thinking that way. Yeah. I don't believe City and Liverpool, they're going, you know, one game at a time. If we win today, we'll see where we are next week. Like, I think they're going, we need to put a run. And they, and they galvanise and they get themselves ready for it. Mm. Uh, 50-50, I think. Respectfully, I disagree. I think that because we're one win in seven and we're at a critical point of the season, I think it's one game at a time. We need to get a win today. Unlike Curtis, sorry, unlike Turkish, sorry, sorry about that. One pound. Unlike Turkish, <laughs> I'm not too preoccupied with the performance. It'd be nice to get a win and score three, four goals. That'd be great. For me, the bottom line today is getting a win. If we get a scrappy 1-0 win, I'm not going to be over the moon, but I'll take it. Yeah, because no point in us playing fantastic yeah, take it. Take a win not, a loss, yeah. football and... We you need know, to instill confidence, winning. Laurie, though. We need to, like, we need to get everyone galvanised and believing again. Yeah, but the first step yeah. to that is to get the win. I mean, yeah. we could talk as much as we want. We're one in seven. We need a win. I agree need, with you. Know what I mean? So let's focus today on getting a win. We can recalibrate after that. A momentum win is, is key. absolutely vital today. Momentum. Know, but we look at performances momentum as, is key. As fans, we look at performances as well. Yeah, listen, we win over a loss 100%. But we look at performances. If we play terribly bad and get a scrappy 1 0 win, I'm thinking our next games and have no confidence going in as a fan saying, boy, Liverpool at home, we're going to get rolled over if we don't perform today. We've got West Ham away. We, listen, we've been poor against West Ham coming up, not in Forest away. These are games we should be not comfortable with Liverpool, by Liverpool. I should be comfortable saying, yeah, we're going to get a win. But for me, I'm looking at a performance. I need a performance from Arsenal today, um, regardless of the scoreline. They need to show why they've gone away, recovered. All the reports from Dubai was sensational stuff. Emil Smith Rowe's looking great. Um, ben White and Saka's been able to rest their injuries. They're coming back fully fit now, ready to go. Zinchenko's back. So I want to see that. I want to see that. I want well, to see I them think that break the back, came at the perfect time because the way things were prior to that break, I was saying to James when we did the start 11 show we were awful you said crisis of, so you, I, I yeah we were I, I maintain that I think that's a bit we've had two weeks to reflect re-energise the team rejuvenate recalibrate we go again so it's almost like we're starting the season again now we've not been good but the crisis is a bit strong isn't it yeah I mean like you say that bro. yeah yeah fair, but like we're still in the title race. Yeah, exactly. If we win we're today, we're still in the championship. Yeah. The, if, if, the if, if we Cup win was today, dis- the FA Cup was the FA Cup exit was disappointing, but like really disappointing, we're yeah. still here. Yeah, you know, I, I'm with you, Tosin. There, we're still here. They're think- still, they're still. I got some hope back after doing the international break. Yeah. It was nice to not, not have any football. I got some hope back. Like, I think yeah. if I can see some structural changes to the team, use yeah. use the squad more. This team can do some damage. Spurs and Villa drawing as yeah, well. Yeah, listen, it's, it's, not, it's not Entirely totally beyond us. What I'm saying is, hope. it's not totally beyond us. But what I'm saying is, things need to happen today, which is why I'm saying it'd be, yeah, yeah. I agree with Cecil, it'd be great to go out there and smoke them 3 4 0 and everyone's on a high, we're optimistic. Yeah, man, yeah. That's what it needs to be. But first and foremost, the bottom line is to get the win, because if you don't get the win today. All right, let's get uh, Frank's thoughts as we're about a minute away from kickoff. Frank, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, not too bad, thank you, James. Obviously, great to be back on the information sofa, as I should probably call it now. Thank you for, to the production team for sorting this all out. It's stripped down my set, but <laughs> I'm happy, regardless, I'm happy to be back. Obviously, I'm happy to see the Arsenal are back. And I'm feeling very confident about the game today. The odds are definitely in our favour. Crystal Palace have won just five of their 47 league meetings against Arsenal, including only two away at Arsenal's ground, of course. A 2-1 win at Highbury in 1994 and a 3-2 win at the Emirates in 2019. So the odds are definitely in our favour when it comes to playing Crystal Palace at home. In terms of the lineup, I'm actually quite happy with the exception, and I'm not saying anything wrong with Leandro Chossard being included in the lap. I think he's a fantastic player, but I would have put Martinelli back there. Um, obviously, the team have had a break. They've been to Dubai in warm weather training, rejuvenated, refreshed. I think it would have been best for Mikel Arteta to go with what he believes to have been his strongest lineup that we have available ahead of this game and hopefully give Palace a freshen. You know, they're not in fantastic form, only one win in their last five, but we've got to capitalise on that. I am going for Arsenal 4, 
Crystal Palace nil. That's my, that's my <laughs> prediction as well. It's going for a big prediction uh, that prediction. just kicked off. Um, it looks like they are going to play as well a back three, but Eze starting on the left as Mitchell puts it into the box. So Arsenal some early defending to do. Um, There's an Arsenal penalty for, in this game today. Your, your prediction, by the way, Cecily said 4-0 well. um, Arsenal penalty will happen as well. So. <laughs> I said, I, I said 3 0. Um, just, I'm just hoping they respond. Um, Super chat from Jack says When other teams have free kicks and corners against us, Raya always seems out of position all over the place. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I agree. We'll keep, do you think, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 he's not a commanding presence in the box at set pieces, to be honest. Not at all. That's one of the things he's supposed to be. Yeah, I think, he, I just, I think he's good at high claims when it comes no, into, into the box. He's not the biggest goalkeeper, is he? I think he's only six stuff. foot one compared to okay. Jesus. That's why I want to see you. That's good. See you. That's been Martinelli. I think, I think, I think Trossard, uh, Trossard playing is not a bad shout, to be honest, because yeah. I think... He deserves his chance, man. He deserves his chance. And plus, Martinelli responds... Oh, oh okay. good. I didn't, I didn't mind that idea. Martinelli responds well to being benched. We did it with him um, against Aston Villa last season where he was going into a dip. And then he came on as a sub... He scored a goal on the breakaway and then like he started he went on a good run. So he it's needs a, to be benched. It's a question for Turkish and um, Cecil because we've already spoken about it. What do you notice about Saka today? It's the hair, man. It's gone back. Yeah. Are you happy with that? Yeah, listen. Ever we since are. he ever started to do the Oshman hair, boy. He went down. <laughs> Talking of Osman, awesome, I've been watching him up close recently. He's missed some right. horror chances. But he, it's not difficult. He, he, he misses well a lot of chances. Really yeah, good does. football. By the way, it was Trossard there picking up the ball in midfield. And one of the things we said on the starting eleven is, notice if Trossard and Havertz alternate. Keep pressing. That's well played. I think they probably will. Pro Evo manager says, Marte is dropping forms. He's down to Arteta's new system. With no overlap like last season, he is isolated, same as Saka. No Xhaka replacement. Two, he comes in as well with, without a suitable replacement for Xhaka, who fed our left side a lot last season. We have to rely on our right side more. It's poor tactics, in my opinion. Yeah, we yeah. talked about some of that stuff. It's a mixture of poor tactics and poor. He never form. really had an overlapper, though, did he? No. Yeah, no, like he, he just take, had more support. He just needs. He just needs to improve how he plays football. He doesn't play oh. with, his, with his head up enough for me. I understand. He's um, yeah, not been at his best form, Martinelli, but hopefully he gets back to it. And I do think both tactics, the injury, how that kept him out a month, I think that's all played a part. But, and also he's a young player. He's a lot yeah, exactly. He's allowed to have these moments as a young and player. And not only that, let's be honest, I'm pretty sure well, he'll yeah, feature at some point good. today. Oh, you, you bottled that. Oh, oh nice. Well done, Gabby. Oh, oh, lovely. Oh, let's go. No, oh. Jesus, man. Okay, come on, keep man. it going. Oh, lucky. I'm lucky. It's, it's it's like, this is better. It's yeah. nice and sharp. I'd rather they get right ideas wrong. Yeah. And I'm happy, happy that he's like he's there. I'm happy he's not on like the left wing or something. I think Arsenal started quite sharp here. Yeah, we've got unique passes. Oh, wow. Wait, what's everyone's has Has anyone predicted that for Palace to score? Yeah. Oh, you, you, what did you go 3 1 0. 3 0. I said. No. Lloyd, what did you predict? I went for 2 0. Cautiously. So I like I said, I, I need to be convinced. I don't see I, don't, them I, don't, I, don't I think see what it is, I don't want to underestimate Palace. I hear you. I don't see them scoring unless it's um, a, a, a set piece or cross into the box. It's a back three for um, Palace, which we just. I think it's a team massive team. boost for us that Elise is not playing. Not myself and Tosin yes. were saying. If you have Elise say it, Eze on the same pitch today, yeah, they're, they're they're a very different player. team. Is anyone else feeling a bit kind of siege mentality? Like, we got, we got ripped for, I mean, obviously, we lose three in a row, right? You're going to get torn apart. But Absolutely. I just want Arsenal to just prove themselves. I don't think we're a bad team. No, like, we're not. I've changed my mind over whether we'd win the title, but I haven't changed my mind on whether I think we're a good team or not. Cross it, cross it. Go on, oh, this is you. Go on. Shoot. Go on. In the Shoot. penalty area. Shimmy. But he had shimmy to King. get on to the The shimmy left king's foot. back. And they're back. <laughs> the shimmy. I love that Saliba. On Saliba worked Mateta <laughs> into playing it back, but Sorry, uh, could Erdogan have got that shot off earlier, do you think? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what, what they need to do. Just, just shoot. Just shoot. Beat bro. off the skin, for goodness sake. Just do it. Mitchell on the ball now. I'd be more, I'd be more on him if he was a striker because that's, that's, that's a touch oh, out of your feet. Oh, that's sure. that is brilliant. No, but it's, that's, all of them do that. They yeah, just never shoot. That's very true. It's annoying. If Jesus did, if Jesus was in the box, he'd do the he'd same thing. He'd do the thing. same thing, yeah, yeah. That's annoying. As a striker, you That's one be. thing I would have thought that during the break, the manager would have emphasised that we need to be just shoot, shoot more. Just be direct. That's good for Ross. Oh, he does that a lot now, though. Come, yeah. pushes out and then comes back. 
Yeah. 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 When he yeah. first arrived, he never did that. Right, it's good for Zinchenko good to get good. back into some form, good. Man, because He's had some good passes, at yeah. that one where he lost possession. I like Zinchenko. When we played our best football last season, Zinchenko was in the team. 100%. Yeah. And, 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 and when I spoke with oh, no. Zinchenko, Jesus Christ. When I spoke with Zinchenko, Jesus Christ. When I spoke with Commentator's curse. Yeah, when I spoke with Zinchenko, the Palace fan, he was so, I don't know, just obnoxious about saying, you know, Zinchenko's your weak link, he's the worst. He, he is, though. But because he gets on the ball the most, he gives the ball away a lot. He, is, he has been out of form, can, but I think he's... He, he provides so much to that attack, saying he's a target. Yeah, but he, he is still a weakling. Same way Trent is probably a ridiculously great yeah, footballer, ball, but he yeah. is a weakling. Oh, Rice, the pass was on there for Havertz. If you're you really put that. Trent and weak in the same sentence, yeah? No, no like, defensive, like a defensively. Player, right? No, no, I do. I, f I think Trent is a world-class player, but, I, but if you're talking to me about, okay, where's a weakness you can get Liverpool, Defensive, who leaves it up to space? 100%. Go on. Cross it! No, he was always going to flick that back. Good start. What, it's been good in terms decent, of um, sharpness on the ball. Like, we're moving it with a decent pace. Yet yeah, to ask a lot question faster. of the keeper. Do you know how mad it is that I'm actually worried to say, oh, it's been a good start. It's started it's, so because it's, I've, it's I've done decent, so much it's been watching Arsenal start. this season and then we. That's why I'm just like, I'm so apprehensive. Like, it's true. Yeah, we started. You know what? For a, such a hyper guy, you do a bit of a prophet of doom, man. You are, <laughs> so I had to temper like your rotations. That been sounds a slightly start. incongruous, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, run, run. Pass. Like That's nice. 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 Kai Havertz on the ball. Into nice. Erdegaard. Oh, he's lovely. Found a nice space. He's looking oh. for Havertz oh, again. Falls to Jesus in the air. Bang. Oh, oh. weak foot. And he strikes over the bar. At least he went for it. That was an extravagant Yeah, at least you're shooting. At least you shot. But also, but it's nice fun. to see us playing in and around that, that D, lovely. the penalty area. Ooh, Erdegaard, that is, yeah, to be fair, that's And Arsenal stage. players are doing him dirty as well, because if, if they take their chances, he'd have way more assists this season. Erdegaard. Do you think he should be doing better there? Who, Jesus? Yeah. That's a, that's a I mean, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm actually glad he shot. Yeah. yeah. But I think he should be doing better, but yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, he yeah. should be. And that's not often I do it up. <laughs> <laughs> but just see, yeah. normally, that ball, that ball from Havertz went into Erdogan, I like that. Sometimes that just goes out to Trossard and then Trossard or Martinelli, whoever it is, is facing the fullback and then we're trying to go around them. Good challenge. It's actually good to see nice. us. Nice, right. right. It's good to see us playing through the middle and just going, yeah, cool. I'm just happy to see a quicker tempo of football. This is, that's all I'm happy about. No, but to be fair, we have been playing quite quick tempos recent nah, games. No, we have started so. well in a few games. We started it's well against West Ham. Loads. We started well Barthol. against West Ham. Started well against Liverpool as well. That's how we scored, actually. Yeah, they did. As well, to be fair. First. It is rice. Start well in most games, but scoring goals has been the issue. Oh, push full. You push into that space, my brother. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's he's hard. done. He's done well to keep it. I know, but good pass. Nice. That's a book. That was a. No, he did the right thing there. That was the right thing. Three running round you. Yeah. Go so on. He's going to pick it up in there quickly. Oh, rice. Here you go. Rice forward. Yes. Nice. nice. Oh, that's oh, good. Two, two, two. That's better. That's two. better. Jesus came Two short, Erdogan was looking long, and maybe if he'd maybe, yeah. But you know, they're trying. That's better. Trying and, and let's be honest, we're going to see a lot of the ball in this game. That's better. You'd expect. I expect our possession oh. to be probably yeah, like 70% minimum. This is what we I do. Sneezed. Fucking hell. Why have I hmm? sneezed? Are you mad at that? Human reaction? What do you mean? Oh, it's like, like what, am I, what am I allergic to right now? <laughs> Play. Rice goes back to Ryan. Okay. It's Saliba. Forward. Good pass, nice. nice. Protect it, Saka. Well done, Saka. Nice. That's really nice. good. Nice. That's really good. It's good. Won a free kick. And now Arsenal could try play. We're hitting 10 minutes. Frank, I'm uh, going to give you a sec just to draw up the stats. But I actually think if I'd asked you five minutes earlier, I actually think Palace would have had more of the ball because on, possession play. wise, we were sitting oh, off a little bit. But we've there. just oh, settled good. into it. Um, nice. How are you seeing the start to the game? Oh. Oh, wait, oh, bad. Oh, wait. Got to be there. Go on. That's a great it. Ball for it. Bloody hell's in it. Oh, trust me, man. Now, why are you moving so slow, though? Martinelli would, would have definitely done better with that. He would have run That's in. a great pass in. from Zinchenko. Yeah. He, he's he's picked up the pass. ball in pass. almost the right of the two in front of the back three. That was a ball. And he's just brilliant cut pass. right through their midfield. Brilliant pass. For, him to to deny, for him to deny the Saka run. That's interesting. That. Rice taking Rice the ball. Cool. I mean, well. Trossard can't, can't seem to get it past the first man. Yeah, exactly. so I'm yeah. glad it's not Trossard, but Rice, that's quite interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. Rice is a technician. Bro, Rice is a technician. No, but we've not seen him take that. corners before. Jeez. I haven't, anyway. Also, I quite like player. him in the box, no? 
He's beat the first man. Keep Rice hey. on Corners. Well, we Keep Rice on Corners. Rice on Corners. <laughs> corners that actually beats the I first like that. Nice. Nice. Rice on Corners. Okay, I get it. I'm sold. Never doubted him. I like it. Never, never ever doubted him. Rice. Makes you know sense. what? I'll be, um, <laughs> be interested to know if they worked on that during the break. Probably. <laughs> the Muller Corner. Rice. It makes sense. No, it's great. What a ball. Uh, Sorry, boy. What, what, a, what an assist. Gabriel Magnus. Really good cross. Yeah. It's a great header That's as well. Header. The Where you attack that as well. The determination to get the that corner is, 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 is begging it someone is to head Wow. It. Guys, it's a great corner. Beautiful. He's begging for a bank. Because he actually has no foul. There, there is a bit of foul as well. There's no call of any sort of foul. Huh? No call of any sort of foul. I think There's no way it's a foul. So you got your early goal, so then hopefully. Well done. How about against Fulham, bro? Arsenal lead. 1 0. I'm not, I'm not doing I said, it. I said Gabriel box to box, but then I changed it to Saliba. Did as you? As a goal scorer, yeah. Oh, but then we do, um, did you predict? Remember we did the predictions? We said who's going to get more, Saliba or Gabriel? We, was oh, it, I forgot. One person went Saliba. I don't know who it was, but we, yeah, Gabriel. I think that's what, his Michael third Lewis. or fourth goal this season? I think it's league, no? uh, second, I think. Is it? Oh, okay. yeah. He scored against Liverpool. Gabriel. When we did the report card, it was, was one it each. Was Oh, for Saliba and Gabriel. But we'll get one. Frank on the information station to double check. Yep. Gabriel goals this season, please. Gabriel goals this three. season. We are only looking three, at, yeah. from what I can see, <laughs> that's his second goal. He scored one in the league already and obviously just scored here. Can't see anything in the Champions League, nothing in the FA Cup, nothing in the Carabao Cup, but nothing in the Community Shield either. So that should only be his second goal. Okay. Cool. That's a good pass. Second you know. this season for Gabriel. Good on him. And Raya claims that cross into the box. Arsenal needed that. Early start, early goal, Turkish. Yeah, we did. Just uh, The thing about it is we need to kick on. Yeah. Too many times this year we've gone 1-0 up and then we just... I don't know. I wouldn't call it sitting back, but it, we tend to go into a show a little bit. Yeah, um, go for the jugular. Let's go now, man. Three, four goals. Let's, you know, Mate, let's come out with a bang. The confidence that gives you when you, you, you don't normally take the corner and then you go and take it this first in your first pack, get the assist straight away. Quality. What a ball it was, by the way. They're mixing nice. it up tactically now because Sierra Odegaard and Rice have dropped in. Look where Odegaard is to try to receive the ball. Bazzini's yeah, yeah, hugging the touchline. This is good. This is all we've asked for. Rotations. Give it to mixing Havertz. it up. Have There's Havertz on the shoot. ball. Goes wide to oh. Saka. Saka one always looking for White. You've got to give it to White. You've got to. They're deep, though. They, they, under overlap. they were deep. It wasn't a great pass were... from Saka, but a good overlap. So and you Arsenal. don't want to see your, your, your defensive line running back at goal. Like that. They had loads of space in that midfield. So it winds me up. There's a comment from. Um, oh, I've lost it now. Oh, here it is. Uh, Four Bant says, um, "I'm swear I'm watching a different game to these guys." He says it's been an awful start. <laughs> a, a good start doesn't mean you've had Bantz. loads of shots. This was before the goal he sent it. To be fair, but just having shots doesn't equate to necessarily good start. Like it's tempo on the ball. It's settling into your shape. It's like combinations looking like you're sharp. And also we're doing that in the first ten. Saka into the box and again. Oh. Go on. Oh, oh my word. Force that was, uh, Accidentally. That was decent delivery as well. That's I think we're going to be working on these corners. That's a good <laughs> delivery. I'm baffed. John Aiden says it's finally a proper Was that a reaction? Yeah. Re uh, ricochet. Yeah. He yeah. said it yeah. would have been an own goal, but it's hit the bar. He's done well. He's <laughs> Yeah. He's done. Yeah. See, oh, that was that was one thing that prior to the break had been very disappointing, that delivery from corners. Yeah. I've seen two corners so Not far in this game. They've both been good. Corners and throw-ins is something needs to be looked at. Um, I'm glad they looked at the corners. Oh. I'd be intrigued to see if they It just showed we scored 12 set-piece goals, man. We scored enough from corners. Against Burnley, Trossard put two in, and that's what got our two goals in the second half. The, at the end of the day, we haven't got a great set-piece taker, so don't get it twisted. Rice's okay. next one might not be great. Trossard's got assists from corners. Saka's got assists. They all have, but they're not great. None of them are great at set-pieces. But we're, we're doing well this season. Yeah. I wouldn't now say, oh, Trossard's not good at set Trossard done the same thing against Burnley twice in the second half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I was, t I was more talking in, in recent Rice's games, against the against deliveries from corners have been poor. Saka? Saka, Saka. Yeah, yeah, so we've had a no? few. Do you not agree? Giant. Look at this Love playing it. out the back this from our Burnley wasn't that long ago. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Look at this, man. Nice. 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 That's what I want to see. If we score from this move, which we have, that would have been unreal. That was quality football. It's nice to see that. But it's man. good to see him playing with the confidence. Nice. Man. Good no. press. How's that? No, foul? It was a foul. It was a foul. That Idiot. was a foul. No, it was a soft foul. It was soft as a foul. There was something though. No, oh. it was a foul because you'd have died for it. On Arsenal. Awesome. You know, do well, you know. Do you think, do you think fans <coughs> have too high expectations of Arsenal? 
Uh, I think one of the things oh, of finishing so high last season, yeah. the expectation this season was always going to be high. Because I was, I was listening to... Because uh, last season we performed above expectation. Yeah, we did. Now we everyone's exceeded. expecting us to at least mount a challenge. Because people were saying... Because I was listening to... Uh, I, was, I was a former footballer and he made such a good point. He's like, just because a team does well one season and all your players are doing well, your attack is going good, it just it doesn't translate into the next season. Yeah, I'll I'll agree. Things happen, right. players yeah. lose form, all the injury, all these sorts of things. Other teams and and there's happen. a surprise factor as well. As well. Surprise factor is massive as so well. So, like, for example, Villa are surprising everyone this season with the way they're going. Because it's like, it's like um, Liverpool last season were a great example. The is season they, before, they were, they were up for, what, a quadruple? Yeah. Was, are, they, then, are they sort of wings? Sort of sides? Looks like it. it. Yeah. Is there any sort of size of yeah, Ben's ben? over on the left. I can't even see Ben. Oh, he is. Well, they've just all reset. Well, they've set into a shape from set piece, but yeah. they'll try. Yeah, no, they're holding it now. You've got to wait till the ball goes yeah, out. You can't be sort of mid defending. Just oh, swap your fullbacks. Yeah, but to go that, oh, that oh, whole way across is, is different. Richards on the ball. Palace trying to settle on it a little bit more. But yeah, White holding that left back shape. That's good. Dirk, I want to ask you. Go on, we talk about the, the football we played last season. Huh? We talk about the football we played last season, yeah. you know, being better than this season. Is there any part of you that hopes hey. that Arteta does kind of look back to what we did last year and just goes, almost as simple as, we're, we're reverting people. Like, what we did last year, I've taken the handbrake off, I want you to, you know, not focus so much on your defensive shape and your position and all that and just go and express yourselves more. Yeah, but again, again, you know, you know, you saying not focus on your defensive thing. I, 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 I don't agree with that at all. The best thirty games Arsenal have had under Mikel Arteta was the first thirty games last year, both defense and attack. We were good. He panicked from the last eight. Yeah. And he overfought during the summer. Yeah. So yes, I do want him to kind of maybe not bring it back completely, but he needs to bring a part of it back at, at the sure. very least, in my opinion. And I think not not just today. I do think against Brighton, against Aston Villa, against. Um, West Ham, you could see the you know the shackles off a little bit in the Champions League. We tend to play without a handbrake on, so yeah. it's still there. But in the Premier League, I think his tactical tweaks have cost us. I put it more on Mikel than the players because even if you know you want to tell me, ah, oh, Tom Dick and Harry's not performing well. Tom Dick and Harry are Arteta's players. Yeah, you know. So at the end of the day, I, get this, up, man. He needs he needs to get the balance right. And I think the first thirty games of last season, the balance was perfect. Maybe I love find that pressing again, Gabriel. Gabriel. Gabriel's doing the midfield's job, man. Yeah. Justin, that during Turkish... Good on him. I love that. that. won the just, ball back. Good on him, man. Just during um, Turkish dialogue Where, there. Ref, ref, ref. Referee. No way. Well, oh, chill out, ref. We had a throw in then. I don't know if we, while Turks were speaking, and we threw it off the pitch. Yeah, yeah so I saw that. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just highlighting small margins. There's small things in games, but that needs we need to improve our throwings. Are you trying to prove yourself no, right? Yeah. No, I'm just. It's there's a one bad. Thing. That was okay, okay, that was, carry, that carry, was carry, a clear foul. I don't know it, why they didn't give throwings. Throwings is small. No, I think they're important, but <laughs> what's your wider point? Throwings are not Ref, bro, it's small margins. Corner set pieces. You vindicated, yeah. Wait, Richards is that the guy they bought from Bayern Munich? I don't know. Omar, Omar, is that Omar Richards? I think you might Chris be right. right. No, it's Chris Richards. Richards. Oh, uh, yeah. I know there's he a might Richards have... that, no. played, that used to play for Did Bayern. he not it's come from Reading? Oh, he's not really a DM. He's playing DM today. Chris he's Richards. Not, he's not really the best in that position. Ooh. Yeah, Chris Richards came from Bayern. Yeah, fair. Good spot. Gabriel goes long to the other Gabriel. Jesus, no. On side. Run him. On the ball. One on with Richards, who we were mentioning. Him. So. Darts inside, goes back to Zinchenko. Zinchenko. A bit yeah, Zinchenko's there. looking sharp. Yeah, he is. Oh, 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 that's a good move. Just comes wide it. to Zinni now. I want to see him doing this more, hugging the touch run every now and again, letting the Man others on. move inside. Because there's, there's yes. Trossard now. Turns. So the rotation is unreal, by the way. Yeah. The rotation is quality. Because there's Trossard central. Oh, that's that's a, oh, a good ball into Kai Havertz. He's made a good run there. Kept the ball alive, well done. Oh, and apparently he's got... And now he's found Trossard Jesus. They've caught the offside on Havertz. Oh. Took oh, a while. Late, I right think now. if you're Roy Hodgson, you're absolutely fuming, isn't it? So he... I don't know. Conceding a goal, set piece. He's supposed to be good at things like that. Yeah, defensively. But... So early as well. You could see the way he looked when they conceded that goal. It's like, a great head. Like, he's, look at that. He's got the run on him, he's jumping. Like, if you're Roy, you're mad about that, man. That happens. 
Gary Neville's tweeted, Arsenal fans must think that's a foul then, because he's obviously uh, pointing Gary to the Neville Joe Linton stopped. one on Gabriel. That's why I said, I mentioned this is, this, this, that's, that's this, not is, a foul. this is why he's screenshots, are ju they, they just don't tell, I hate seeing this trend of Twitter, people on Twitter just pulling up screenshots. Ooh. And I know I'm probably so Chenko got robbed there. Oh. That was too easy for me the way he took that ball. No, because Newcastle was two hands in the back. Like, that wasn't that wasn't he's exactly jumped above like, him. Mine is <laughs> Yeah, he might Newcastle is this. This Gabriel jumped above him. I it's like the way you attacked the ball. I think that was a very good goal. That does not come good. Oh, oh, that's oh, a good oh, ball. He oh, might come on, Bukai, 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 just be off. That's a oh. lucky though. Oh. Oh. He did. But was that on side? That was on side. That's 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 that was on side. That should have been the first time. First time to Jesus. I don't think he knew he was going to get. I, I don't think Saka thought he was going to get it's there. A Look at there's a slight hesitation. Watch this. Just. I think oh, he's offside. offside. I think he's offside anyway. It's offside. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I said. There's a slight chance. That's offside. And he's definitely offside. And he's offside as well. Everyone was offside. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, uh, Cross Tech says oh, every. Thank you, Cross Tech, by the way, supporting the show. Ever since Tactical Insight a few weeks back, I've been dying to see the wingers come more central attack. Rice is up for it today, too. Um, well, we're seeing that more from Trossard. I don't know so much about Saka, but we're definitely seeing it more from Trossard, a little bit more sort of darting runs inside. Go on, Gabriel, number two. Nah. <laughs> oh, oh, do you know what again. I struggle oh. with, with Saka, yeah, and it's something I've clocked here. You see there, for example, yeah, I'd love it, like, why, it, is it by design or is it that he needs to work on it? His first touch is never inside where he can then you know, like when he's Coming. free his first touch always tends to be out wide yeah, for the cutback yeah. like there he, he might be offside or not but he was basically through on goal yeah if he if his first touch is towards goal he has the option to bend it maybe draw the defender in his first touch takes him a bit away and he does that quite a bit i, I notice i look out yeah, for it i haven't as well like but for someone like look obviously robin like he's, he's a footballing like you know he, he's done been there done it and, and he's, he's someone that I think that if Saka looks at, he can learn from. That's Robert, weird Robert me. in that situation, is, is, he's, he's going straight towards goal, no messing about. What's weird about it? Because I see Saka always have the touch line and the ball comes into him and he comes onto it. No, when, when, when he's got defenders in front of him, yeah, but when he's through on goal like that, 1v1. It tends, his, his touch doesn't tend to be the greatest. OK. I think, hmm. Even against Liverpool, when, when he should have gone down for the penalty. Do you know, listen, this is just me just being a, being a player how I think. I think maybe because, you see, when he, when, he, when he comes inside, I know you're saying when he goes down the line by himself, his first thought is the ball, keep the ball furthest away from the player. So but that's why that, that's that's he's like going wrong. Yeah, I know. Mean, you're right, because he, he even anticipates contact too right, much now. Right. So when he gets the ball, he's, he's more worried about who's going to come into him than potentially spinning that guy. Facts. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts, because uh, what, you yeah, offer, yeah, what Robin does, uh, he just goes direct and pushes it. That's risks, though. I think I'll take, I think Black Saka does what we just said. He thinks contact, protect the ball, keep him furthest away from the player instead of direct for goal. Because I, I don't know. I don't know why he does that. But that's why are you, why are you going down, bro? So, <laughs> like, why are you going yeah, down? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, that's I'm surprised he's not got he a actually make a good run. run. What's he done? What's he doing the there? Come on. He just threw himself at the ball. There, that was weird. Arsenal's build-up shape has been really interesting. That's yeah, I'm, I'm keeping a really mm. close eye. And Zinni's hugging the touchline quite a lot. Oh my goodness, he's bullied him. Yeah, Mateta, bro. Did he he's elbow him? I think so. Handball. He's saying handball, is he is not? Is a hand in the face? He's saying hand. Let's go over to Frank. Frank, what are they saying? Yeah, so I think it, they obviously they've called it that the referee stopped the play for a facial injury, oh, of course. Yeah, he has yeah. elbowed him in, in the face, so I'm not surprised to see the stoppage there. But yeah, it, it's definitely a foul for me, 100%. That's pure Seems accidental. block of African. No, Taylor normally has a good game against us, which is annoying because he's, when I speak he's, to, he's an average player. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I speak to most players, fans, they, they don't think he's a good player at all. No, he's not. Against I'm, us. I don't even know why Mind you, start, I'm not surprised I don't he know started ahead of Edward. Because yeah. of his physicality. Yeah, 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 that's true. Who's the best number 14 for both sides? <laughs> what did he say? Who's the, the best, best number 14, number 14 for both sides? Larry? <laughs> Mateus. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're trying to draw me out. <laughs> but you want to give money to charity. <laughs> <Kerry. laughs> oh, oh, lucky. You're oh. so obsessed, bro. I just saw Mateta's 14. What, the, I, the, end. The, the number just brought back <laughs> memories, yeah, isn't it? I'm telling you, this goes way back, you know. I haven't said anything. What I, 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 think, I think the stick on him is that it's, it's so harsh. <laughs> it's not. It's, it's, it's on, on EN. It's that the, man, it's the me, manager's on fault. EN. That caught me. It's the manager's fault. But I said, he's the better for you. Havertz, you sold him there, man. What was that? 
Mateta is the same goal. 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 goal in 40 odd games, and then he's cupping his ears to his own Touch side. Offside. Offside. Touch. I'm Touch. noticing some trends I really like. Sorry, guys. Just like. Jesus actually higher up the pitch. Exactly. Trossard and Saka are actually more central now at times. White is going on the overlap. Zinni's having the touch line. We're building up sometimes with Havertz, Rice and Erdogan. Sometimes it's Rice and Zinchenko. We mix up in 25 minutes. I mean, what was it? What was Arteta's quote? That we played 63 formations or whatever? Well, I'm, see, I'm seeing three at least. Like, it's good. Mixing it up, trying different things. I haven't done enough of that. We definitely didn't do enough of that when we needed goals against Fulham, when we needed goals against Liverpool, nah, West Ham. Terrible. We didn't mix up enough. Oh, yeah. Now Lord. they've just passed it off the pitch. What is he doing? Here we go, good friend. Come on, Arsenal. Awesome. <sighs> oh, so that's happy with this start? That's like, 25 minutes, a quarter of the game? Yeah, like I've mentioned, no, I'm apprehensive to mention good starts, even though we are 1 0 up, but we're 1 0 up. It doesn't minutes, change the fact. How many yards like, has he just stolen there? That, I, know, yeah. I know, I'm just. I'm being a yeah, just bad bad here. Bad. I just kept moving. I'm doing, I'm doing a quite a nerdy no, I, I do a lot of that. Yeah. I, but it's, it's listen. It's the thing is, by good start, I mean comfortable. It's a good start. We're not, we're not, it's we're a good not having loads and loads and loads of chances. You know what the difference is? We've been got the early goal. Once you get that, then you've got something to build from there. Yeah, but, yeah, but um, this, is com- this is much better than Fulham where the we ju- got the early goal. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Fulham, we were... Got the early goal and just looked terrible nothing. for a lot of that game, even before. Good pass. Set. That's good. Nice. Four. Oh, you better, you four, 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 four. Four. good run. Let's go. Oh, under hit, but here yeah. we go. Trossard. How about underlap? You've got Erdegaard there. Erdegaard. Shot. Erdegaard. Shoot Erdegaard shot, there, no? It's not like this. I'm not going to have a goal player for shooting. Yeah, Don't foul him. Is a unreal. He's unreal. He's unreal. Wow. He did that. Three plays. Done that. Last time he lost. I remember he, yeah. he was at the corresponding at the game. He did the he same thing. Everything same positive thing. from Palace went through. Through him, yeah. How's he gotten the ball? Same thing. I remember he was in the box. There was three men around him. He just come out. I was like, with the ball. I said, this guy can play, man. He's such a baller. Apparently, it's quite quiet at the Emirates. Anything on your headphones, Pretty Frank, that would say otherwise? Pretty yeah, to be fair, it's not been the loudest, obviously, you know, I, cold, I don't man. think it's been the start that everyone has expected. Don't get me wrong, I think yeah, we've played cold-hearted. quite well, obviously, the stats would tell us the same as well, obviously, 64% possession, so Laurie, you were close with the 70%, but That's not good. quite. Three shots so far, obviously, that goal was our second goal in our last 63 attempts on goal as well, so that was obviously good to get that goal, but apart from that, I feel like we should maybe you've scored you know another an, another goal by now you know mm, palace yeah. ain't playing great we've had opportunities we just need to be clinical yeah i'm, I'm yeah are we being like sport not sport not sport as fan wanting uh, i want we you just we both said you want four nil four nil, that's what i want so are you being yeah. sport no i want well that's what i'm just saying like and what frank no, said there i expect it well so i'm, I'm asking the questions that's how i feel i want to see four well, goals i want to see a second goal by now as well but Get your graphic off the is screen. That, is that a big ask? Like, we want a second goal around like now I think as well. it is a big ask. If they get it, great. But like I said, first and foremost, they need the win. But going back to what James was saying about the crowd and that, given that you just said that, I wouldn't be surprised if we get the old. <laughs> nah, uh, uh, trust uh, I'm waiting for that. Who do you think will be the first one to do that? Is in the old about It's one of the two, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, yeah. Oh, what, waving their pom poms? No, no, you like that, innit? No. <laughs> no. You know when the players are stuck. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, right? They may as well wave their pom poms. Yeah. Like cheerleaders. I'm not fast. Game, I think nice. if I was on the pitch, I'd probably be the one doing it at some point as well, you know what I mean? Good pom oh. uh, oh, I'm just happy. I'm happy he's trying a forward pass like that. Yeah, I think, you know, we're approaching the half hour mark. Arsenal have been okay. fine. Totally, been overwhelming, to- totally okay. comfortable. We've looked very sharp in the first third and the middle third. Final third, we need a little bit more. Hopefully it comes. I think Arteta back. will be happy with what he's seen. We I haven't blown so. them away, but we've been comfortably the better side. We need, probably needed, let like Cecil say, get another goal, man. And then, you know what I mean? Just a bit more composure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, more strength? Oh, that Zinchenko boss is stuck in my mind. Side right? all the time. That was a... Yeah, the, the pass to Trossard. Yeah, you know what? I, I ain't even mad at that. Him getting offsides. I'm not mad. I know what you mean. I am not mad at you. That's being, not off. That's not that's even off. off. Yeah, it's not even that's off. off. I'm, I'm happy you being in those positions. Rather he be onside. The, the only thing I'd say about those <laughs> yeah. offsides is if you get a player that's not that's offside though. Constantly offside. 
then that indicates that he's not Profile. reading the game properly or making his runs. But it's but with, 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 you, yeah, the lights, bro. Because you, you go case for case, and with with Jesus, oh, we talk about a foul. player who's always really deep. Uh -oh. So it's just good to see him like running and beyond and asking I think questions. Rush is going to get booked here. Yeah. Strikers will have to make that curve to right. Eze's, 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 that's, that's he twice, glides, he glides that's twice now Eze's done him. Glides on the pitch. He says he's got the ball. He didn't get the ball. Nah, no, I think he's saying he didn't touch him. Or is he saying... Well, he, he said, that he's saying he, he touched said he went him. that way. I think he's saying he made contact with yeah. him. Well, free kick to Palace. cross -tech says uh, Kai needs to man up. If he's, if he's not uh, player enough to win his battles, bullying the foul is not an alternative. Buying the foul isn't an alternative. Sorry, I've read this terribly. <laughs> buying a foul is an alternative. I, I get, I get what you mean. Don't try buy the foul if you're not strong enough to. But this is where Palace are going to be dangerous, isn't it? Set pieces, set pieces and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So. so anyway, I see them scoring. Is that within range? It is for Ezra. Yeah, yeah. That's a perfect free kick area, mate. It's a bit too, bit, <coughs> bit central. This but guy is such a baller. Right, get over a bit. Raya, do your team. Yeah, Frank's a goalkeeper next. Raya's right. got to be on it. He's, he's, going straight, he's going straight for that top right, and David Raya's a bit too, too far to the right. <sighs> Good block. Wall done his job. No way. Ooh. Oh, oh that days. could have been awkward. Kleiner's shot from distance, it took a deflection that looked like it might have. You hit my teta, problems, didn't you? Nice. Well played. Castle deal with it. I love that feint. Yeah. Yeah, it hit my teta. Yep. He was speaking about as a Reese. Someone was speaking about him on a podcast and I said, yeah, he's sensational. He's linked with City. Um, in the summer, isn't it? Yeah. I think we're Tottenham linked as well. I'll take Eze and Elise, I'll, I'll be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, they're brilliant. Well. I'd have them both. Especially oh, fantastic. Ma mainly because of the homegrown quota as well. You need to, you know, if you're going to have English talent, you I'll might take as well him try and get English but talent. But Elise is That's not gonna... English, is he? He no, he's select. from France. He, he's, he's, he's a French national, but, but I, I think he's class he was, is he a French he national. He the Palace Academy, I'm yeah, sure he did. I think he'll be classed as homegrown, not, by, not English. No, he was at Reading before he came to Palace. Yeah, but homegrown, yeah. Yeah, that's what they say. Not English, but more his youth was spent here. I wonder what their value would be at, though. Be hard, be Elise's release clause is 60 mil. Six, I saw that. Is that, is that, is that true? Then? And Eze can't be more than Elise. I would, well, yeah. Elise's, what's his contract up to 2027? I would buy Elise. If I was Arsenal, I'd buy him in the summer. Just on Elise as well. Saka, I've seen, I've just seen, I've just seen that we. Competition for Saka. I've oh, just seen that we yeah. um, actually had Elise in our, our, yeah, our academy, academy yeah. in 2009. Yeah, yeah we really? did. Oh, yeah, yeah, we got released from our academy. Oh. Oh. Don't lose it there! Robbie oh. What the hell? Robbie they brought that up slipped. in Transfer Daily like, this week as well. You got lucky there, though, Saliba. Yeah, you did, did a little bit. Can't have us playing out the back in the pen. But that's why Mateta's in the team. Oh, hey, oh well done, Saliba. Saliba. Oh, Saliba. Composure. Unreal, man. Hey. Uh oh. And then that was another one. Ooh, good Ooh. save. Ooh. Can't, can't save. afford that, bro. It's his, his mistake. Made, it's all he's doing. Huh? That's all he's doing, though. What do you mean? Like, that was caused by him, so he better save it. So there's a strike, they're playing out the back arsenal. So Raya, really poor clearance, gives it away in midfield. And Lerma's effort. That's a it's very a, good effort. It wasn't going it's in. A decent, it's a very good effort from it's Lerma. A it's I a silly that. ball, though. I mean, he's and supposed Raya to save it. Actually. Yeah, Raya makes but it. The save he should make. That is a sensational effort. I've seen Lerma do things like that before, you know, when he was at Bournemouth. I mean, we do have a keeper that did something like that against Fulham, and he didn't save it, so. <laughs> exact <laughs> same mistake. Nah, no, you get <laughs> That's a poor corner, though. Who's that? Pereira scored. Pereira scored. Pereira scored. Step up. Pereira yeah, scored yeah. Yeah. Four bants asked, do we still look great, James? Listen. <laughs> He's coming for you. That's incredible, He's man. coming for you. In the 33rd minute, I said it was a great start. We're beyond the start now. No, I don't think we look great, right? Yeah, so intercept. Man. To be fair to you, you <laughs> asked the question. You didn't say Erdogan, it. Erdogan. Oh. Go on. Hey. Jesus. That's funny. Over We've done a lot of that in the final third, man. Just give them the ball. Like get away with I don't think that's overplaying. I think that's just, just release the poor ball. passes. Yeah. Just get it right. That's not, that's, that's, not, that's not a difficult pass. That's an extra right. touch. You didn't need to say it there, though. The foul Arsenal one. Oh, makes, uh, makes that poor pass. Are we doing great, James? <laughs> we're okay. <laughs> we're, listen, we're comfortable. We're fine. We are our, comfortable. Our, I, right. I said we made a good start. Because we had a we had a good temper to our game and we scored in the eleventh minute. No, what I think we're doing in the thirty third doesn't change that. And no, I agree. Yeah. I mean, listen, we've not been sensational, but we don't have to be. We're one nil up, comfortable. Yeah, we'll take. I'm sure the manager will be happy with this. So, but obviously, you need another goal. 
I don't like the word comfortable. Like how many times? How many times have we seen us make I'm mistakes when we're, we're more like one yeah, up? Comfortable think, in terms of we're, we're, we're it's been average. We're controlling the game. We Doesn't need another goal. Doesn't matter. We control, we, we can, we control we, against you'd Forest. Expect, you'd you'd expect that. Goal. We control we, against. Yeah, but I did we say we need another goal. I did control say control against. Yeah, yeah why? we need that. I can't say we're comfortable yet though, because if Raya does a madness again, or Zinchenko gives it away, but that's two different things. You're talking about being comfortable with the lead. I'm not comfortable with the lead. I'm just saying the pattern of play. Yes. Palace aren't doing anything. And we're not. we're not doing much either, but we're untroubled. Like I, I think this is going much more to uh, our... Uh, but, but, Actually, but maybe could not. a Palace fan come out and say, well, we're not doing much, Arsenal are not doing much, it's pretty comfortable. Yeah, football's well, a fun winning, game. So. Yeah, I know, okay, but okay, in terms okay, of the... Yeah, nice. like, the their keeper hasn't had nothing to do apart from picking yeah. up the ball at the back nice. of the net once. This is why I said that 1-0, let's go and do... Let's, let's put Jesus, them to the sword. Jesus was asking for it. In the box. That's a, That's a good nice. Oh, Shoot! Off the touch from Trossard. Shoot! Oh, no, not even. Ah. Loves that back heel at the moment. He should he piss off with that back heel, man. That's that not the time to be doing that. Back. Why didn't he just turn and I don't know how quick he could have let the trigger. I need to see it back. No, no. Because he's, he's, he's controlled it there. There's a player right gets right in front of him. He got closed down quick. He yeah, did. He did. But it's he just shot. that was silly. See, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that. It was a, a needless flip. But even before that, Jesus was in a great position in the box when Trossard got the ball. If he crosses it, that's a good opportunity. Quick, I want to. I want to see more like quick balls in. Come on, Gabriel. Another got actually. Yeah, it's rare that he scored twice. He actually dunked on your man twice. It's good delivery. Oh, it's it! Gabriel again. Wait, what's going on here? Hang on. Gabriel again. Gabriel again. Gabriel again. on your man twice in a in a set piece. I don't know how that went in, but. That's the ball. Well, that's they, I'm trying to understand ball. what they're that's calling keeping. They're going to say about a foul. They're going to say about a foul. Here. That's poor keeping, though. That's not a foul. No, poor keeping. Yeah, that's, that's gone to the back. That's hot. He's two not, set pieces. He's not celebrating like he scored it, though. It might have been an on goal. So let's see what's going on here. But Arsenal. Ooh. Oh! As things sound too. Don't cut the camera when it gets to there. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah I got so you. So what mean. are they no, saying? I, I want to see it, but they're. That's a ball. Oh, no, that's, that's a ball. I don't understand what they're, they're, they're looking at. Maybe. I think it's an own goal. Yeah. I think Gabriel's had a no, win across the goal. They're saying that Ben White's impeded it's, the keeper. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it came off him. Look, look, it came they'll off be, they'll the keeper. be Gabriel's goal because it was going in. It was going in, yeah. So it's Gabriel. So that's three for Gabriel. Well, they're going to say Ben White probably impeded the keeper. Nah, he didn't impede him at all. No, not at all. Absolute rubbish. Are they saying he'll commentary about it? No, no, there's no news of any sort of check or anything. And I think it is definitely going to be Gabriel's goal because of obviously what you've said, James. It is going towards the goal. Uh, it's just really unfortunate for Dean Henderson that it comes off of him. But fantastic. Gabriel's on a second goal. Question is, what happens if we now get a penalty? He's on a hat trick. VAR. VAR, they're oh, checking no, it. Complete, it's complete. complete. It's checked. Okay. Yeah, what if we now get a penalty? Gabriel's on two goals. <laughs> Won't be the first. <laughs> that's a, the that's first a very president. legitimate question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good point. Oh, so, hang on, it's a Dean Henderson own goal, and now he's got more what? league goals than Gabby. Yeah, Henderson. that feels crazy to me. That's that's a, it looked like the ball was going that's across. They've given it to Henderson. They've given it to Henderson. Oh, you think oh, it wasn't yeah, definitely yeah, going yeah. in? You can't say for sure. I thought unless we got the angle from the oh, other I side. I think that's clear. If it's hit, he's in. One thing I would say is that great taken corner by Saka. Yeah, that's two now. Hang on. Premier League right. goals. The first goal is Declan Rice, wasn't it? Yeah, corner. I think Zaka's had a couple of good Relief. Nice. That's mad, though, to see it. Like I said, like, it's weird to, to see a player beat their man twice from a corner and score. They need to change nice. his, the, his, the, his defensive partner. Real nice. Quick. Turn, nice. brother. That is Arsenal. acres behind well, you. It has been a good start. So, so we're on course for your 4 0. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Darren says, I want to see Saka and Trossard switch in this game. Well, if there's a need. I always think, yeah, it'd be good to mix up the wingers sometimes. But I think the big thing is asking different questions. I, th I think Arsenal, in their shape, are asking different questions, which is good. Good, oh, that's a great one. Jesus in behind. Now he's popped up on the right. Oh, Jesus, that is oh, shit. On, You're better than that. That is absolutely awful. Was that... Or was that good defending by Tari? No, he, just, he didn't do anything, he, Jesus. He didn't have, a, he didn't he have an idea He didn't of try and take him on. He didn't yeah. shoot. He didn't do anything. He did shoot. No, nah, he tried to cut it across the box with, without the angle. He's done, nice. well there. He's done well there. That's that's, that's well. why I'm pissed off because we know Jesus can do things like that. He yeah, can yeah, beat yeah. a man. Tariq Mitchell, I like him, man. Good player. But he's up against a good defender there, though. Yeah. Mitchell ain't no joke, you know. Right, two nil. No. Fair play to to four bands who've been going back and forth. I cut you some slack there for the moment. We're lucky there, though. It's, I, I just think 
This is a Premier League opposition. We haven't kicked the ball in the Premier for three weeks, in the Cup for two weeks. I called for a performance. I think we're getting a, f- a, a note of, you know, I'm fine with this. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah so fine. am I. We're in control. I just want, I, all I need now They're is, not doing anything, we're doing a little bit. <laughs> They've changed man. I just need Gabriel. some <laughs> open play from Gab- Gabriel. Gabriel Hattrick <laughs> inbound. <laughs> They've changed man now. He's got Mark Gay, he's defending. <laughs> Come on, Gabriel. I'm calling it I'm Gabriel Hattrick. 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 Do you think you got the call? Do you think you got the call? I don't know. You done what is smart? What you done there? That was clever from Zinni as well. The, the second effort wasn't as good. Trying to replicate what he did against Burnley, mm. which, by the way, was a great goal. That's mad, man. One man, man said, to Rich, man, you, man said to Richards, "Get off, Gabriel, man. You, let me deal with that." And still got almost got bullied. Then, come on, Arsenal. One more for? Mm. Nah, I'm happy. I'm happy, but one more would be nice. <laughs> one more would be nice. Well, oh, who's who's that? That? no shot. Yeah, P roller. Why, why did I still I had to wait? <laughs> I was like, wait till it's in his hands before I start going out. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, oh Declan oh, Rice. Forward, forward. And you know what? And I'm not just jumping on that bad pass. I don't think he's looked that great today. No. And he's not done, he's not played badly, but you know how there was a period sort of in the autumn where it was like, who's your man of match? Obviously, Declan Rice. Who's your match? of Obviously, Declan Rice. I actually think there are other players that pull, oh, yeah. outperforming him today. I think he's just played a couple sloppy passes, a couple fouls in there. Yeah. Doesn't quite look up to Keep what up. the standards that he's, you know, set early in his Arsenal career. Need to do that I either, my friend. Can I make short then? I'm Keep surprised. Playing. Is that a foul? Deck two nice. players on the floor. You've got to stop Head injury just two from the floor. Yeah. All right, let's go to Frank. Uh, five minutes to half time. Give us the match stats. We actually haven't uh, checked in on those. I would be absolutely delighted. Obviously, we've just got the second goal, and that's what I was looking for. Obviously, I wouldn't have been overly happy if we would have gone into that second half, or, or into half time at least, only 1 0 up. In terms of the stats, uh, we're looking at 65% ball possession at the moment. We've had a total of seven shots, with two of those being on target. Crystal Palace have had five, with two on target. In terms of the passes, we've attempted 241 and a completed 204, which works out about 85%. Crystal Palace have attempted 133 and only completed 95. So they haven't even got over 100 passes completed yet, working out about 71%. But that is much better. <laughs> Obviously, us leading, that puts us in third in the Premier League at the moment, just ahead of yeah, Aston Villa, I believe, on goal difference, which is correct. I'm happy. This has been a... I'm happy with... The, if, if, the, we, if we go into half-time 2-0 up, I think we're in a good position to carry on. And um, just to add to that, 12 goals for Gabriel since he made his debut in the Premier League. Um, as I just said, 12 goals. Ben Mee scored nine at that time. Kurt Zuma scored nine as well. So he's to, out to, scoring. To think that the manager, for some reason, was leaving him out at the start of the season. Oh, what was that? That is bizarre. And he had some weird tacticals on Twitter that, trying that to was, justify it. That is bizarre. That was, when it, that was crazy. I remember sitting next to his family and asking that, and they're like, he's fine, he's ready to play. Uh, Arteta Border says, how could it be an own goal? It hasn't come from behind Henderson. Hit his head, then gone in. So it's literally impossible to be an own goal. It's not like when it hits the post, then hits the head. It's a deflection. Say hi to Turkish. I have just seen... I have just seen that the Premier League app, at least, has counted it as Gabriel's goal. So I'm not sure if that's a mistake. It's 100% Gabriel's goal. Oh, no, I completely agree. I mean... The only way is if Gabriel's head is off target, but but Henderson's on the line. So it must have been going in. Mm. It's Do we read game. anything into it that Graham Potter's there today? Absolutely. Well, what, could, what could that be for? For Palace. For Palace. Yeah, 100%. Well, it's obviously not for us, but I just mean... One hard the Palace man. job. That would be a good right. move for Palace, though. That would it, be a good move. It yeah, it would be. be. He's been, been at Brighton It would be a progressive move, I think so. It would be a good move. That's, that's his level. Would he do that to Brighton? That's his level, Palace. <laughs> Big rivals. I know yeah. that, but... I think they care. Like, If the paycheck is there, he's got to go for it. You know what, I'm going to say this, right? They don't care, Roy man. came in and he did well to keep Palace up because they were relegation That's threat. A good, a good job. But you would have thought that he would have said, I've done my team, bring in a younger, but more Steve progressive Parrish, manager. He always makes the same mistake with Roy Hodgson. Yeah. He did that last time. Yeah. Like, we all know he's going to come in, there's going to be a bit of energy. You don't 
get lost in the sauce, but you always let it happen. Because yeah. I, I, I personally think Vieira was a little bit unlucky to get sacked. Uh, I think so I as well. I agree as well. Yep. But I've holding but to, holding Palace on. fans unanimously agree, though, it was the right decision from the ones I've spoken to. Yeah. It's not like they were. What did Kane say? I suppose I haven't asked, but others I've spoken to. They probably so would have Because he, he remember when he got sacked, he had a right. really difficult run of games. No, he did. I, trust me, yeah. I agree. He'd played all the top half, and they had like something like 11 games. I think from his last 12 games, 11 nice. of them were teams below them in the table. Running. So I agree, it was harsh, but... And one thing that did baffle me when Vieira was up is that for some reason he didn't want to play Eze, remember that? Yes, as soon as Roy came in, he, one of the first things he did was put thought, Eze thought, back I in the team. I thought he played him in midfield with the lease at times. Nice. Well done, White, that's really good. Uh, a couple of super chats. Uh, Big G says, I love that we are up, but no good chances from open players not playing well, especially against this team. Oh, Hope we improve in the second oh, half. Um, I do agree, the lack of yeah, chances created more from open, open play. play stuff. Yeah, I do agree that that has been slightly underwhelming today, but... That's our biggest problem though. Yeah, it well, is. one of. But we also have to factor in, we're coming from a point of where we've not been very good. So I didn't expect us to just come out there and just though. blow them away straight away. Against West Ham and Liverpool, the, the chances from open play were... We should have. Yeah. there. Mm. No, um, I'm talking more in terms of the confidence of the team. Jesus, oh. Um, Arteta Baller says, I think Potter's there because uh, uh, because Turkish and Dan Potts called him and told him they've had enough of Arteta. Okay. <laughs> did you say that, Turkish? <laughs> you, you, Turkish, do you advocate... Nice, lovely, Zinni. Yeah? No. No. Where's the options? Uh, if he wants to keep on Good spending pass. money to send Good in, he's, he's more than welcome to. Okay, so, now let's get. He said hi to you earlier. I, 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 Subscribe to me as well, Arteta Borders, Turkish LDM. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> Whilst you got your mum's credit card, might as well send some <laughs> over there as well. <laughs> Jesus. Brutal. Good ball. To the back post to Havertz, but it's actually really well defended. Really well defended. Saliba okay, Saliba now. Gabriel are so good at getting ahead of their striker to win that ball. Yeah. Here's Trossard now. Good oh, pass. Havertz. Oh, good time. I love that. Nice. And he's Trossard found Trossard again. Oh, that's he should that's do better. Nice. He's got to do better there. Oh, oh, he can yeah, do better. He, he should have better. He, he should do better. Call, 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 call him a penalty. What's he should do for? better there. This is nice. This, this is, is good nice. football. Look how central he... See, we're talking about rotations. He's a ball, you know. I think he's calling for it. He wants a corner. Get it on target. You're saying he wants a corner or what? No, he wants a penalty, I think. Oh, for the hand? No, there's nothing there. There's nothing in there. He's got to do better there, though. But those are the rotations we're talking about. Jesus pops out wide, Trossard makes a run inside, that's good. That was good. Um, that was a a AFC protagonist says, uh, Erdegaard spot for sale if you can't find a right foot. Uh, Big G, <laughs> I've read that one. You said I've what, sorry? One. What was that, James? Uh, basically that. Get up, right bro! Foot. Why do you keep falling down, 29? Yeah, yeah Havertz is light. 29. I'm calling 29, can you do something for her 21? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Like, Jeez. just number 29. But uh, he's got Ernie's, Ernie's shirt yeah. name, you know? I'm not going to call him that. He's not an Arsenal player in my heart yet. <laughs> You'd be accused of hating. Who gives a shit? He <laughs> said <laughs> 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 he looks at me. <laughs> uh, no, but don't you know, you're not allowed to criticise Havertz, apparently. Yeah. Some of the fans think that guy. Mm. Come on. Press, press. Arsenal. How long? 30 seconds to go to half time. And if they don't do anything stupid, we'll carry a 2 0 lead. Learn on the ball now. It's annoying because I want to get to a point where we can stop breathing. The subs is really empty. It does the empty there, but I think it's just half time. It's half time. I'm going to get the cup of Bovril. It's half time. Bovril's disgusting. What is that? I've never tried Bob. Is it Marmite? Do you like Marmite? Is that what it is? Yeah, he eats like Marmite. I love Marmite. It keeps you warm, though, I'll tell you that. So there's a hot chocolate, but... No, it's not. It's not that hot chocolate. Chocolate is supposed to be a bedtime drink. Oh, that's half-time. Bob Rule's a bedtime drink. No, sure. Well done, Arsenal. Half-time, 2 nil up against Crystal Palace. Leading. And what was that? Yeah, yeah, because it's, I don't think... I, I'm, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Melbourne, we were playing Melbourne. <laughs> 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 We're two in the laugh, innit? So obviously, 
I think, listen, I, come on, that, that's a good Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, you, got, you can't be It's a good result at half time. No, I'm, not, I'm not vexed about that. I'm just saying that. They, it's, it's not got it's, bells it's, and whistles it's, it's on it. It's two set piece goals. Yeah, but it's important to get goals. No, I'm, listen, I'm happy we're up, we're winning. What would you rather? But we've created one play chance for elaborate play football against one of the worst or... sides right now in the league. I, Say what? No, I, I think I think because we've made a mess of some open play chances, they've looked But that worse. tends so, to be the case this yeah, No, I agree, but like Trossard in that situation, I think she hit the target. Jesus does well to get a shot, but he should do better in that situation. Yeah, should. Erdegaard tries to go on his left. If... If they are, if they just execute them and force a save, we're going. Ah, oh, fair play. Like you've actually worked the keeper. So I, I don't think the football's been bad. Um, I think it's been fine. But I agree. Like there's still something not quite clicking in that final third. Well, but listen, they've got two something to build on. Isn't it? Two nil. You expected them to kick on now, and hopefully Cecil's pre-match prediction gets realised. But I'm happy with that first half performance, man. I'm happy to be up. I'm happy we're going to get, well, we should get the three points. Like I said, it's not got bells and whistles half, on it yet. But second half, create some more chances, man. Get the attackers on the yeah, score sheet, man. Let's, let's, let's get, them, let's get them going, that. It's all good and well Gabriel getting to, but we need Jesus to get one. We need Saka to, we need Martinelli to come on and get, oh, the God, stop the shimmies. Did the subs come on and get a goal? <laughs> just, just shoot. Stop the shimmies. All right, everyone, look, I think, listen, tune it up. Three games without a win, Arsenal are doing... I'm happy. Arsenal are... I keep using that word comfortable because we're leading, there's a little bit of a gap there, we've had the better chances, we've played the better football, Palace have done next to nothing, apart from when Ryan gives the ball away and still that shot from Lama should never go in the back of the net and of course it doesn't. So Arsenal are just comfortably got through at 45, let's try raising the second. We're going to leave you for the half-time show with the Frank on the information um, Stool, chair, whatever he's on. <laughs> um, we'll see you all in 10 minutes. Get your questions, your super chats. There's one from uh, Brito I've seen. Uh, Ethan as well. Brandon, they'll all be covered by uh, Frank as well. Catch you all in a sec. Half time, Arsenal 2, Crystal Palace 0. And it feels so great to be leading going into half time. Obviously, having not seen Arsenal play for so long, it feels like a long time, but it's not actually been that long in theory. It's only been about 10 days. Um, but like I said, Arsenal 2. Crystal Palace nil. Let me just give you a reminder of some of the stats that we had going into this game. Uh, Crystal Palace have won just five of their 47 league meetings against Arsenal, including only two away at Arsenal's ground. Of course, a 2-1 win at Highbury in 1994 and a 3-2 win at the Emirates in 2019. That is a record that doesn't seem to be getting any better for Crystal Palace if the score stays the way it was. Going into this game, of course, as well, Arsenal had only scored one goal from 61 shots across their past three fixtures. So that goal registered, that, that first goal that we scored registers as only our second goal in our last, I think it's 63 attempts. So I'm so glad that we've managed to get two in this game within the space of eight shots just to get rid of that record. Fantastic. And obviously, touch wood, it doesn't happen. But if anything was to go catastrophically wrong and Arsenal were to lose this game, not trying to jinx it, of course, uh, Arsenal would have suffered their f uh, suffered four consecutive defeats in all competitions for the first time since February to March 2018 in Arsene Wenger's final season as a manager. Let's hope nothing catastrophic happens and we get to see that. But let's break down this performance. I'm happy because obviously we're leading and we're leading quite comfortably as well. If we look at the stats here, we've had 64% possession of the ball to Crystal Palace's 36. A total of eight shots to Crystal Palace's six and the two shots that we've had on target have both resulted in goals. So for me, I'm happy with that. Crystal Palace have actually had more shots on target with us, but not really anything that has challenged David Rea. I know, uh, I think it was, I can't remember which Crystal Palace player it was. I think it was Jeff Jefferson Lerma at the end of that first half um, that had the shot that challenged Rea. But regardless, I always thought that David Rea was going to save that. In terms of passes... Arsenal have attempted 277 and completed 236, which works out at 85%. And Crystal Palace have attempted 163 and completed 119, which works out at 73%. Guys, get your super chats in. Let me know what you're thinking of this first half so far. Let's go over some individual performances. Uh, if we look at the team here, apologies, I've got the screen here, guys. David Rea, no complaints so far. Like, like I said, hasn't really had much to do apart from one save. He probably made a little bit of a camera save out of it, but regardless, something that he should have been saving. I think the back four have been fantastic. Benjamin White looking solid. William Saliba, average game. He obviously hasn't done anything fantastic. So to be fair, I tell a lie. There was one moment where he, I think he flicked the ball or done a fake shot of some sort and absolutely sent the Crystal Palace player. So I'll give William Saliba credit there. 
Gabriel Magales, the man of, I was about to say the man of the hour, but it's probably more accurate to say the man of the 45 minutes. Gabriel Magales, a centre-back, is on a brace. And just on that, I've got some stats regarding the goal for Gabriel Magales. Gabriel Magales is the first Arsenal player to score two-headed goals in a Premier League game since Olivier Giroud versus Fulham in November 2012. So that's a record that stood for over 12 years. And the first defender to net a brace for them in all competition in the competition since Thomas from Marlin in September 2009. So Gabriel Magales is out here breaking all sorts of records. And I'm just going to stay on him because obviously he's scored both goals. The first goal, fantastic cross from Declan Rice. And a few of us had question marks about Declan Rice taking the corner kick. He's usually someone that you want in the box for a situation like that. I think he obviously notably scored that last minute goal against Manchester United from a corner. I think he scored another one from a corner as well quite late on, um, if I can remember correctly. So normally he's the person you want in the box, but took the corner. Gabriel got his head onto it, got the assist. Not too long after that, or oh, maybe about 20, what was the time between the two goals? Uh, 11, well, maybe maybe quite long after that. 26 minutes later, Bukayo Saka from the other side. I'm so glad Bukayo Saka's got an assist because obviously he's getting a lot of criticism recently, but he's dyed his hair back. He's playing well but well today and I've captained him in fantasy, so I can't complain at all. Gets the assist as Gabriel Magales gets his second goal. Now, obviously, there was a debate about whether that goal was going to stand for Gabriel Magales because obviously we could quite clearly see here that the header is goal bound however i think tnt sports's graphic had it down as a dean henderson own goal but thankfully the premier league website at least have confirmed that it's a gabriel magales goal so it's definitely a brace so i am very happy there and obviously goals from two set pieces arsenal have scored more goals from corners than any other team in the premier league this season with 11 now and also scored the most headed goals in the premier league also of 11. So, fantastic there. And I've not even gotten to the midfield yet. The midfield three, Declan Rice looking solid as always. Martin Odegaard, I think has been a little bit quiet for me, obviously not, notably not matching the heights that he reached last season. I think he's only got four goals and three assists in all competitions so far. So maybe we do need to see a little bit more from Martin Odegaard. Potentially had an opportunity to score in that first half, but like Turkish calls him, the Shimmy King strikes again. Uh, so we didn't see, get to see that goal. Kai Havertz, again, maybe a little bit quiet, but not potentially as bad as Martin Odegaard for me today. Um, I, again, I don't think anyone's been terrible so far, but if you're looking at worst performance, you're probably looking at, for me, Martin Odegaard. And the person I'm going to move on to next, Leandro Trossard. It's been fairly ineffective today for me. Obviously, it was quite a surprise to see him starting the game. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a massive fan of Leandro Trossard in general. I just didn't expect to see him starting today. I would have gone with Martinelli just so Arteta could have his best team that he's got available at the moment out on the pitch, refreshed, rejuvenated it after that, obviously, warm, warm, warm weather training camp in Dubai. Um, but he went for Leandro Trossard and it's not necessarily worked out so far. There was an opportunity just right at the end of that second half. Uh, which I think Leandro Trossard probably could be scoring, or, sh or should be scoring, should I say. I know it's his weak foot, but he's quite famously got a very strong weak foot and should definitely be getting the goal um, from that situation. we we'll move on to the other side, Bakayo Saka. Looking good. I don't want to say he's looked fantastic. Obviously, he's picked up another assist today, and I haven't got, actually got the stats up here, but I'm going to do that. But I'm sure that is... What's that, 13th assist for the season? Let me try and get that up. Guys, obviously, remember to let me know what you're thinking of the game so far in the chat. I'm going to get onto that in just a moment. Let me just double-check his stats. So I believe that's a 13th assist for Bukayo Saka this season on top of nine goals. So 21, in goal, 21 goal involvements uh, across all competitions so far this season for Bukayo Saka. And this is a Bukayo Saka that a lot of us have been saying, including myself over the last few games, hasn't been in the best of form and he's still contributed to 21 goals at just over the halfway point of the season. Unreal numbers. Uh, we've got a super chat here from Ritesh Mystery. I finally get what Turkish is saying. We seem flat, need a goal from open play. I get it as well. Obviously, it's frustrating that we ha aren't able to create the chances that we need to from open play. But the way I look at it, a goal is a goal. I don't care if it's in open play. I don't care if it's a tap-in from a sweaty goal. I don't care if it comes from the halfway line. As long as we score the goal, I really don't care how we score it. As long as we get the goal and we get the points. That's, that, that's the way I'm looking at it. But let's see what everyone else is saying in the chat. I keep losing this chat. I don't actually know why. Um, that's a bit random, that. Let's see what I can do here. Obviously, half-time, like I said, do we look at changes? That's what I want to know from you guys as well, obviously, because like I said, the likes of, for me, Martin Odegaard and maybe Leandro Trossard haven't been fantastic in this game. 
I think we, I think they spoke, the guys on the sofa spoke about it earlier. Gabriel Martinelli generally responds very well to being benched. I think we saw it last season uh, when he was dropped for the Aston Villa game, um, dropped for that game and started when I think when a scoring streak of a few games. So maybe if we see Gabriel Martinelli come on in this game, maybe towards the 55th, 60th minute mark, just to give him some time, at least half an hour. I don't want to see Gabriel Martinelli coming on in the 81st minute or the 88th minute, which he did with Trossard last time. Let's give Gabriel Martinelli some minutes. I haven't heard any news of injury, so there's no reason why he can't get the minutes today. And also one that I'd like to see in this second half is probably one that a lot of people were potentially calling to start this game. And that's Emil Smith-Rowe. Now, Emil Smith-Rowe has not, for me, had enough minutes today. And this, for me, again, comes down to Mikel Arteta's in-game management, you know, the substitutions that he makes in the game, potentially not picking him in situations where he probably should have picked him to start. I'm just trying to get the stats up for Emil Smith-Rowe's minutes this season. I, I'm sure it's 245 minutes. That, <laughs> that's not great. I think that's less than three, 90, 180, 270. Yes, that's less, uh, that's, in total, that's less than, you know, three games in total. All season from Emil Smith-Rowe. That's nowhere near the numbers that he should be getting them nowhere near the minutes that you should be getting I should say um, and of course 12 appearances all season and only getting one assist what can you what can he do when he's getting limited game time 116 of those minutes of those minutes coming in the Premier League 42 coming in the Champions League three coming in the Community Shield two coming in the FA Cup and 82 minutes coming in the Carabao Cup so nowhere near enough minutes for Emil Smith Rowe Mikel Arteta get it sorted out let's see what everyone else is saying in the chat uh, I think Adita is agreeing with me when he says uh, ESR has to come on, uh, give Lewis a shout. Who's Lewis? I don't know who, have we got a player on the bench called Lewis? Who's Lewis? I think, I, I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, what's everyone else saying? Jesus is actually playing and staying in the nine position, which is great. I think he's looked pretty solid today, obviously. Ideally, we'd like to see our striker scoring goals. He's criticized his own finishing ability, which I don't think I'm too happy about, if I'm being honest, but I think he's creating, you know, he's linking up the play quite well. If we get his stats here, apologies, my mic is actually in front of my laptop screen. So 20 touches in the game, um, six, six passes completed out of the nine he's attempted, which works out about 67%. Doesn't sound too great, but, you know, not as many touches as he probably normally would have had. But yes, I'm glad he's staying in the box. If you look at his heat map, we say he's staying in the box, but it actually would indicate that he's drifting out to the right a lot. But I get what you're saying. He's not dropping too deep as he normally does, which is cool. If he wants to stay in there, that's great. Just score the goals. Absolutely. Uh, Arsenal FC says Martinelli should come in. Again, I completely agree. Miles Lewis Skelly. Right, OK. It's because you didn't actually say Lewis Skelly. Is Lewis Skelly on our bench today? Uh, Lewis Skelly is not on our bench today. On the bench, we have Aaron Ramsdale, Cedric Suarez, Rule Waters, Jakob Kibio, Jorginho, Mills Mifro, Reese Nelson, Eddie Nketiah and Gabriel Martinelli. So no Miles Lewis Skelly today. So I don't know if we'll be getting that one. Um, seeing Nick Kyrgios on our screen for some reason. I'm not too sure why. White needs to keep overlapping. Absolutely. Uh, I think that obviously the link up of Bakayo Saka and Ben White has been pretty solid in this game. Looking very reminiscent of what we were seeing last season between the two. The partnership. It's coming back. Finally. And I'm really happy about that. Gabriel should have gotten a yellow for the blatant dive earlier. Um, I don't know which one you're speaking about. A blatant dive. Was that the one in the corner where, for me, he was absolutely fouled? Um, I'm not sure if that's the one you're speaking out. Speaking about Gabriel again, I know I've mentioned his name a lot, but there's a point that I want to ask you guys in the chat. Gabriel's on a brace, right? Hear me out. Let me land. What if we now get a penalty? Gabriel Magales, of course, on a hat trick. If we get a penalty, do we give it to Gabriel Magales to try and secure that hat trick for himself? Which I'm, I'm not sure the last time a Premier League player scored, a Premier League defender scored a hat trick. Off the top of my head, I think we're looking at Robert Hoof back in 2016-17, was it? Or the season that Leicester won the league? So, maybe <laughs> I can see the chat already. A nose, nose, nose everywhere for Gabriel Magalhas to take a penalty if we do get it. So, I'm just of the opinion that, you know, if a player's on two, two goals, they should be given a penalty to try and get their hat-trick. But that's just me. That's just my opinion. I think it would be fantastic to see a centre-back get a hat-trick in a game. That would be fantastic. Uh, it does look like the players are coming back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for everyone to sit down. I think everyone is back. The second half has kicked off. James, 
Back over to you. Yep, and Ryan launches the ball onto Havertz. And we're in their half. Lamb's going over the battle. Beautiful. Goes wide to Saka. This could be the perfect start for the second half. He goes to the back post, but it's taking a deflection and Arsenal win another corner. The half time thoughts, you know, via social media and chatting to other people were really interesting. That we were fine, but nothing special, but they wanted to ask to build on it. Um, let's hope they do. Oh, is my mic off? Oh, maybe it's muted. All right. <laughs> Could Gabriel get a hat trick of headers? Slip pieces. They're still giving that goal to the keeper, though. Mm. I don't know. I thought they'd reverse that. I Unless they have, I don't know, I'm looking at it. Good, good ball. Yeah, yeah. Right. Saka, 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 Saka. Quick, quick. I was a bit under hit that, need a bit more zip, but there's yeah. Saka now. You've got a lot of people in the box, cross it. Go on. Oh. Go on, Saka, touch, touch. Run him, set. Shoot. Shoot. Bang. Ball. Oh. That, was a cross. that was a cross shot, that's safety. I'd have like to see him put his foot through that one. Yeah. Rice is actually a technical, technically good player. You don't see much of it because he has to just do the breakout play and put in a passable. Yeah, he um, is. He's definitely a technical player. I've seen it. Yeah, same. I don't know, but there's levels, there's levels to technical, though. Because then how does he compare to a Xavi then? Yeah. I understood what he was saying is he's a more technical player than, than people give Than people see. give him credit for. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So he's not like he's not. On, I'm not saying he's, he's not on yeah, Rodri's he's not level. Not the gifty, yeah, the gifted like. Oh, yeah, Rodri was probably a better. Saka example. does well there. Yeah, is, Pounce on that is one all gay, but keeps the move alive. His Havertz, poor touch, but overlap, overlap, overlap. Give it to him. Oh, oh Jesus! Have to give him. Should have given it to Zinni. Have to give him that. Trossard keeps the move alive. Tries to get a shot at goal. With no not? position to shoot there. That's twice. He's. No, oh, no. Eze is vital. Just predator. Oh, Ooh. that's nice. Jeez Louise. Schlup playing nice well. Eze, man. Goes wide to Klein. Very nice Eze, man. Or at least say to be fair, I'll take any of them. I'll take any of them. How does that guy bounce Havertz off the ball like that? What do you mean how? Turkish can bounce Havertz off the ball. What do you mean how? <laughs> that's a, no, that's a very easy question. A six foot four, 15 stone player can just get if you play pushed off the ball like that. Like a 12 year old in your heart. That's what happens to you in the pitch. I need some jolly off, man. Mm. What is Eze? You look at Eze and you think to is, yourself, imagine the thing if about he's Havertz in Arsenal. is that he's not been as bad as he was when he first when we, his first few appearances, but it's just you're just not Yeah, you're not the guy, man. Twenty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So you're saying he doesn't earn that name. I'm not calling top. him I'm not calling him by his first or last name. I'm just gonna call him twenty nine. Wow. Like a John Doe. <laughs> <laughs> said like a John, John Doe. Oh. As he does really well, gets a strike and Ooh, good save. Right save. You imagine what you'd be like in an Arsenal show, isn't it? You look at him and you think, what hey, is I'll it? be is honest, he's, 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 he's higher than this level. He's higher than this team, bro. He needs to be yeah. one. He must go. Honestly. He's too oh, good for okay. Palace. He is, the end. bro. And, I, I, and Palace fans Sorry, Kane. Hear that, but it's the truth. Uh, it's true. It's the truth. Even when we played, like, Even he said, when he was bad in art. When we, when we played uh, Palace at Palace, every decent thing they did went through him. And well, from nice. their own set piece, Rye claims. Which is good. Don't want to be conceding early. Good delivery. Good delivery. Oh. Great delivery. What a touch. Number overlap, overlap. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Oh, come on. This is easy. To Jesus. He's got to square. If he gets the right Bang. pass oh, there, no. oh, then he missed kicks. The sack is claiming for the penalty. Then Stop the bike, that for that He's put the ball in the back of the net. Saka, just keep playing, man. Yeah, 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 on, the refs ain't going to protect you. Just be that guy. That's nice. good from Havertz. So I took it in the right direction. Nice. Number 29 Rolls did well. Then. Jesus, Havertz does really well. 29 did well. 20, 10, 29 did well. Nah, okay. that might be a pet. Like, he did grab him, though. I think it's, I, I, I know it's soft. I've penalty here, but soft. Trossard has to 100% do better. I'm yeah. surprised you're co-signing that, bro. To be honest, that for me is more of a penalty than what we see recently. Stop it, man. Two, ha two hands on both shoulders. He, he anticipates I'm the ball's coming you, to him. You're not really a man that you like the physical side of the game. What's happened to you? You got so yeah, Talking to that, look at Block Mateo. Back bullying that man. Mateo just bouncing, man. Mateo What's just going bullied on? up two men there. Let go. Was that a goal attempt? Did he see my man off his line there? 
Oh, nah, nah, or did poor, he just miss it? Poor, it's poor Klein, bro. Sorry, no offense, Klein, but he is. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Things done years back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, Trossard, yeah, should, should make that together, connection, yeah. put it away. That's kind of his. Yeah, 100%. That's made for Trossard, really. He's. He's fluffed his line to him. That was a nice ball by Jesus as well, you know. It was because yeah, I, I didn't even know. That's a, Havertz and the build up was brilliant, and the, the ball from Rye is fantastic. Like, that's all, that's all good. Players I've been critical oh, of in terms pass. of their you know, signings. Well, Linked up with some nice stuff. What's going on against us? He's always. Zinni does well. Man on. There. He's always just a weight. Trossard does well. Played. Well done, everyone involved. That's good. Havertz too. Take a touch. Oh. Here we go. Okay, nice. uh-huh. done well to find. Can we counter though? Nice. Nice. Book him. Good, well done. Book him, ref. That's deliberate. Should be a yellow, really. That should be a yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Could have broken. It's a waste. It's just a that waste. Is a waste. A possession. Didn't, didn't need to rush that. Who took that, man? No, I agree. No need to do that. Um, yeah, there's, there's there's two more goals in this at least. At for least, us. man. For yeah, us, man. for us, hopefully. Yeah. yeah, for us, yeah. Should have been a goal just then. Should have been. Probably looked a bit brighter though. They played some decent football yeah. there. Yeah. Which Wolf is Hughes it, it, it suits us to be honest. It's all from this man here. Yeah, if they get Eze on the ball, that run by the way from Hey Saka, so well done. Last good look at us tracking back and covering. Yeah. That was brilliant from Bakar Saka. He's limping. Proper a bit hard now. work. He's limping. I think he's just shattered. George Graham. George, George Graham. Graham. Right. We love all the set piece goals. Hmm. Also tuning yeah. up. Looking a bit the old. presence of some legends, Graham. celebrities, all sorts. But yeah, 52 minutes in, seven minutes, second half. Sometimes, I, I, you know, I don't know what's happened in seven minutes, but, you know, one big chance for Trossard. I think Roy's uh, had the proverbial rant. Crazy. Because I think Palace have... They look a bit more energised. Yeah, they seven definitely looked a lot better in the second half. half. Yeah, yeah, seven like minutes it gone already. It felt like it was like two minutes. Yeah, literally, it felt like we just started the second half. That's what I mean. Like, if I look up, it's oh, seven minutes Jeez. gone. Okay. I'm starting to think about something. Do you think Palace are in ourselves. trouble this season? If presumably they lose this game, do I think? don't think they're in trouble. No, I don't think no, Palace ever end up in enough. trouble. I think they're lucky. They at, they're lucky at the at the quality of some teams. Yeah. In in another season, they might have been, but I think. Luton, Burnley. At least saying Eze will be. I actually keep think them up. I think Luton will stay up. To be honest, two of the three promoted would definitely. Are definitely. Two of the down. three are going down. Yeah, yeah. Burnley well, are going down, for sure. Yeah, but Everton and Forest need to await this. Um, oh yeah, verdict of you know, the point. The point deduction. Brentford, Brentford, are, Brentford are getting dragged into a dogfight, yeah. but I don't think they'll go down. Palace, they've, they've just been, but with a big return later today. Uh, they, yeah. they've, they've, look, they've made it Brentford such a are. big thing. I can't wait. I'm actually excited to watch Top that Top dog. Man, man's calling himself again. top dog. Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, no, I mean, but the Everton and Forest point deductions are yeah, yeah, well, a potential point deduction, I should say. Of course, that'd be a second one for Everton. Um, I'll tell you what, you know, whoever's you know making the final decision on these point deductions, they're putting themselves under real pressure. Some of these other investigations come yeah. through, you know, with other uh, findings. Yeah. Yeah, and their their punishment. I'll tell you Proof what. Proof of. I'll tell you what's interesting about that. Good is challenge. The way they're taking points off teams. What's going to happen when City yeah, face their day, day of judgment? To. That's why apparently I mean, yeah. a date has been set, hasn't it? Probably at the end of the season. Uh, do I, is it, it shouldn't be end of the I need season. To double check. It shouldn't be at the end of the season. It should be during. Nice, right? Should should bounce them off. I think you know what it is they because there's been so it. many charges. They have to. Oh, the evidence that they need to build up. Is um, City charges um, FFP though? Or is it? Some of them are. I mean, you're talking about 100 and um, no, Financial it, doping, I think, is the, is, is, who, the, is the accusation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But is it PSR or, or FFP? The, is it the Premier League or is it the UAE? I think it's one? both. Well, I don't know they'll pay it's, it's, it's Premier, it's Premier well, League. They yeah, okay. they'll pay it's, Premier, it's Premier League. Okay. Last time UEFA, I think, tried to get yeah, they beat right? They beat their UEFA not, charge. But I think that was also to do with like not being able to look back a certain amount. Like you said, I'm, I, I can't remember exactly, so don't take it all completely like, that way. But So how about there? Yeah, you've oh, done nice. a good run as well there. Popping up on the right a little bit more. So Still, over 100 no charges, yeah. Just on Fine. the city charges as well, I've nice. said oh, charges. Oh, oh, yeah. Onside? Onside? It's, it's offside. Offside yeah. again. Nice idea. Oh, that, was, that was neat though. 
115 FFP that where Ozil did that? Oh, well, I don't think it's FFP. Some though. details. That's on what it. I'm reading. So if what I'm reading here on Talksport is City were charged with breaching 115 FFP rules close to a year ago and have yet to been hit with any sort of punishment. So, so what I'm seeing FFP. here, if it's if they're proven to be guilty, it looks like relegation. Relegation. So yeah. it's FFP. FFP. So it's diff. So that's you. That's UEFA, isn't it? That that's mm. not the, the Premier League one's PSR or something like that. Profit just profit just sustainability just regulation or something. Yeah. Like but the Premier League also do FFP, I believe. Because it's, it's, it's the Premier League that's bringing the charges. Okay. Yeah, because the other day, you see, Scudamore was on TV saying that a date has now been set, but they wouldn't reveal the date, so... OK. That's good. Either way, their one is a 10-year period. That like, These Everton's and Forest ones is the three-year period thing. Yeah, so it's just because they, they, theirs is much easier deep, to observe. I'm not surprised with Forrest. I mean, how many players did they bring in in that short period of time? Eh? Yeah. 30-odd players, isn't it? Come on, Arsenal. Let's get forward. It's keeping the ball well here, though. Yep. It's tight in this. Run? Game. Forward. Oh, Saka. Oh. Is the Saka not available? Oh, you're in there, then. Forced us to go long. Yeah, they did. They pressed it quite well, yeah. though. Nice. But they pick well. up the second ball. How else goes wide to Zinni, that's nice. Yeah. He's probably been Come one of Arsenal's Zinchenko. best players, Zinchenko. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Oh. That's, a, that's a, oh. that oh. bullshit. That bullshit. Bang! That bullshit oh. oh. side net. That bullshit went straight through. He's him, killed man. him with a ball. Yeah, he, he should have. Oh, he could have just jumped. Yeah, Odegaard's pass. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, yeah Odegaard. Jesus, he could have overed that. Odegaard. I've been, I've been kind of critical of um, Odegaard's final third action a little well quite a lot this season um, I think he's had a really good game today but so do I but that, yeah, that little was things. under hit but Arsenal played their way through really well you know the long ball they pick up the second Saka into Havertz Havertz into Zinchenko Zinni and you're right you, we, Tosin we were just saying Zinni's one of our better players today I agree yeah yeah oh oh and it's full again Oh. To Zinchenko, oh, bang, bang. Saka. Saka with the effort, oh. deflected, Referee. oh there's a call, nice. there's wow, a, there there's really a huge came call, a penalty here. huge call, the way you went down was yeah, very horrendous, <laughs> I shouldn't talk because I do it all the time, but blimey, yeah, when go, you, wa go watch the wall people, when you, you, know, <laughs> when you throw your arms you know up like that, Cecil's got no position to uh, yeah, complain, yeah I can't talk about diving, it's part of nice. my game, right so it's a corner for Palace but they are really protesting the Penalty that they think they should have had in the opposite penalty area. Oh, show us. Before that counter. So let's have a little look here. It's definitely. Oh, he's throwing God. himself. He's pulled his shirt. That's they do that. They do, they do that. Obviously, I've seen it. Um, oh, stop. You should oh, go for that, man. Stop. Wow. Just, yes. Stop. He's furious. He's furious. He's furious. Turkish, what are you saying about no, that? No, no, no. no. That, one, that like, one's different. You're like me, you don't like the diving. That one's team, crazy. Man. That's embarrassing. For you me. need to bang that. You, yeah, yeah, surely you, you want, to, especially you. You need to get on the end of that. Just don't worry about the penalty. You don't well. even take penalties, bro. Just go. Yeah, you ain't hungry, man. Don't let cross. You know when you don't take penalties, you want to bag. You want to bag it. Like you don't. You, you're not really looking to win go. that. Go. Oh, that's a lovely throw. Let's go. Just run. Run. He ain't got speed. He's slow. Oh, there you go. You have to. Trossard, you have to. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on! Come on! Three nil. Come on! Beautiful. Yes. See straight away there if Trossard's vindicated his start now. Come on! Go. Yeah, well, he's, he's been threatening. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. No, he has. He has. Yeah, he's been a goal, but he hasn't been good. He hasn't been. No, he's, he's been, been threatening. There we go. Yeah, right but he's well. got. He's, that's a very good goal. Well, it's, refreshing. it's refreshing to see a counter attack goal as well. Yeah. Yeah. Usually, we're so. Calm this is it. great from Ryan. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Ryan, came, this is good. Which no, is easy. Nice. But the pass, he just perfectly That's waited good. for Jesus. I thought Jesus was messing Palace about. So he was just slowing down. That's really good. That's a beautiful ball. This pass is quality. But Trossard does brilliant because he has to fade inside past Klein. Klein's on his back. He buries it. Klein's that is really good from Trossard. That's a finish. Give this guy minutes. Well done. Sack the defender down. Look, look at that. Now, him now down. bring on Martinelli when, when, um, I love when we're free up and let him have fun. And I like the way the striker sits Clyde. a defender Clyde's down. Clyde's like running back yeah. and he puts his arm up offside. That's <laughs> him keeping him on. <laughs> and then slips. Come on, like, yeah, You know what? I'm going to say this though. I'm pleased for Trossard because oh. number one, a lot of few footballers are starting man. today. And then the way he got treated in that Liverpool game, like I said. Coming on with oh, two come minutes. off it, offside. No. Oh, behave. Surely not. No, it's not. Come off it. That's it's, not, brother. It's not offside, man. You're on the sidelines. 
It's not sad. Let's see the line. To be fair, that foot. He looks yeah, like he's a right. It's his knee. Come on. You no, don't even need a line it's, for that. It's Why obvious that they, yeah, he's why onside. Are why are you checking it? That's obvious. Why else are they checking it? What do they want? Nothing. They're just... VAR yeah, yeah, just... As long as they come to the right... not for a week. But you know what it is, right? As long as they come to the right decision in the end. It's not Arsenal. 3-0. Why not Arsenal? That's a good point, yeah. Give me that full... Sometimes you think... Sometimes you think, yeah, man, it's obvious. I've got no problem with him checking. We want four. Bring on... Bring on... We want four. We want four. Listen, if you're, gonna, if you're playing against a team that's going to be difficult to break down, score some set pieces and then cut them open when they are in your box. Yes, good Well tactic. done, Arsenal. 3-0. Um, let's go over to Frank. Uh, Frank, I'm coming over. I don't know if they told you at half-time, but we're going to come over to you for some comments and Super Chats as well. But your thoughts on the goal as well? Uh, they didn't tell me that at half-time, but I can Oh, production. Production. This oh, is shocking. Uh, just with, obviously, that. fantastic <laughs> counter-attack. Yourself. Fantastic counter-attack, play. like you guys said. And I'm so happy to see, see Leandro Trossard finally get in oh, that goal, because he hasn't looked fantastic. <laughs> as Gabriel's on the attack, oh, Trossard again, it. box it, goal. suck up. Oh, the the guy. He's going to flick oh, it. Oh, oh, my God. God. Bro. He's offside anyways. Bro, He's offside. Well, Brother. Who was Jesus, Jesus. I think probably Trossard. Jesus delayed that. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Slip now. Beautiful. Now, now. Yeah, it's too now. late. It's too late. It's too late. Oh, like, but I Martin, oh, brother. Yeah. Come on, bro. Bro, stop it. And you know what was bad about that? That was on his left foot. <sighs> Why are you passing it there? Uh, I think that's a bit harsh on that guy. Stop harsh, bro. I get it. He's trying to roll it into the striker. I get that, but slap it in. I, I don't know, I think sometimes you see the ball next to goal sometimes, not you, just in general, we see the ball next to goal and we're like, shoot, but it's like, but there's men in front of him, there's people there to block, like he's put it, tried to put someone in a bad position, mm. but that was blocked as well. <laughs> so, uh, I've got some yeah, news on the second goal, James. You what, sorry? After review, the goal accreditation panel have confirmed Arsenal's second goal to be an own goal by Dean Henderson. Gabriel was oh, therefore correct. awarded the assist. The they are absolutely correct. Piss. Terrible. It's obviously going in. Do you know how John it beats That's out? actually how they'll protest it. Do you remember when Harry Kane protested it because it yeah. glanced a hair or something? <laughs> Do you remember? What is that? Was it Harry that Kane? That was awful. I can't remember. I think Harry Kane was in the golden boot race with someone. I can't remember. Here's Mateta. Do you know what makes me is going to be in our golden Turkish boot Turkish went 3-1 on forever Arsenal, so he's hoping this goes in. No, it's just awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, awful. 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 No foul. Awful. That's no a foul. foul, ref. Gabriel Magalhães would be fuming, though. Two, he could have two goals, and if he gets clean oh. sheet bonus and two goal bonus, that's mad. And it takes Saka's oh. assist away. Jarring. That is a foul. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he kicked the ball. Oh, yeah, right. That's not a foul. I thought he kicked the ball. That is a, that's a stone. Do you foul. think he's made much contact there? I don't think he's brought him down. It's that's enough, a foul. It's enough to draw the fouls. That's, so you agree that then that fouls in the penalty area merit a lot more contact for a penalty than fouls outside the area? Because if I'm Jesus, I'm saying a little bit of a, a little bit of an arm around me, a little bit of a tug, and I've gone down and nothing's been given. But a little bit of pressure on the side of Eze, he's gone down, it has been given. He did push him in the back and then his other, his other foot kind of came around him. I'm I think that's finished. enough to draw him around. Maybe, fair, but I, I, I I'm still think it's soft. I like, I I'm going to have faith in Raya. I don't like this, Ra. I don't like this. I haven't faith in Raya. Ooh, what a save. save. Raya. Good save. All I'm saying is I think both are soft. I, 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 I think referees need to start looking whether in a player actually yeah, brought yeah, down. In general, it is soft. If we're going by what we see nowadays, then I, then I get it, yeah. you know what I mean? And also, I actually, I mean, I was just arguing a point with, with Laurie, but I actually do think to a degree there should be a higher threshold for a penalty, to a degree, but yeah, yeah. we see such a low threshold outside the box where minimal contact, oh, they're down, yeah. So it's almost like the ref thinks easiest thing, so you go, give the free kick. So yeah. There's no part of that ball that's touching the line, by the way. But they do it all the time now. Oh, that's a foul. That's, that's, we all saw, saw that. A riff. Just push my another goal to the counter floor. again. Go on, we've become Man United. Oh. Just counter. There you go. Oh, I hope we haven't become Man United. I don't mind watching us counter though. We for years we've been so bad at it. I know. No, it's actually quite refreshing. It's nice to see because, oh, listen, I know Trossard our score, but Martinelli also on the counter is good. Sixty-five uh, fifth minute, everyone. Let's talk subs. Who wants Martinelli. to see I what? Smith Rowe Smith for twenty-nine. Yeah, they're the two I want. And um, Martin and Martinelli on. I would, yeah, I would even take off Saka. Is Vieira back? Smith no. Rowe for 29. Just call him, have, just call, say his name, bro. What's it, what, Mateta's doing feet now? Bro, Mateta's doing feet. Actually, do you know what I'd do? <laughs> I'd get Jesus off and move Havertz up front because we're 3-0 up. 
just to see if we can like get him into. I'd rather have Eddie there, man. Some kind of. Put Havertz up. Then put Havertz up front. Oh, Jesus, need a goal as well. You got a striker on the yeah, bench. Yeah, but knee injury and all that, I'd take him out. He's played an hour. Yeah. You got yeah, but you got take a striker on the bench, James. Who? No, but I'm just saying I want to Who? try Havertz up Eddie. front a little bit more. Two pound. Two pound. No, but you you asked the question, I answered it. It's too, you made the rules. Would that be your sub? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, why not? Three nil up. Bring him on, man. Why not? Uh, and a, and a, box. an audition for the team. I'll bring on Raw Waters, man. Why not? <laughs> no. Do you know what? I'd actually like to see that as well. I'd so like to see Raw Waters, it, it, that's a debut long, long overdue. Yeah, bring him on, man. Bring on Raw Waters. Maybe, man. It, I don't know if I'll set him back. Maybe I'll, for I'll wait to see where we Maybe are for in ben the White. minute because look here. Even though Ben White has actually done all right. But. If we get to four, there's no reason Raw can't play. Even if it's only 15 well, minutes. I thought that about the dead robber game in the Champions <laughs> League and she's. <laughs> I didn't play anything. Definitely we want to see Smith. I mean, the manager was talking in a week about giving him more minutes. It's perfect timing. Smith Rowe? Yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to say, I'm saying, you're not talking about Rule. And yeah. Rule and Eddie. You know what I mean? Why not? Eddie's had Three pounds, man. Huh? Hmm? <laughs> what? How old is Waters? Uh, Who would you bring on, Turkish? Martin Eddie and um, Smith Rowe. In- young, I think he's like. Yeah, he's not right, on. Oh. Info station. Um, yeah, how old is Raw Waters? 19, 16th of December 2004. That was a quick looking. Three days after my birthday. 19, okay. Jeffrey right. Schlup. Yeah, Palace haven't, you know, 20, 25 minutes, you know, I'm sure that they don't look like they're going to score, do they, really? They've, I think they've played a back three. I want as he, I can't remember, no, no changes have been made yet, right, from either manager? Nope. No. I wonder whether they'll move away from whether they'll move away from the back three, get someone on to try and open the game up a little bit more. Although I reckon, I reckon if I was a man, I don't think really they have many options. If I'm on Palace, no, they've got Edward. They've got, uh, You're onside. You're what's onside. He doing? He, no, it's hot, it's hot, Kai Havertz was onside. Is, it, is man. he all right? Mitchell played in miles. What on. happened there, though? He thought he's offside, and he's just not getting it. Like, he, he's not blessed, man. This guy. <laughs> He's not all right, man. I want to see Mateus Franco for them, man. But yeah, that was weird. The man with no name. That was weird, though. Also, who, if I'm not mistaken, played at the Etihad. I think played pretty well. Remember, Palace were actually... Well, they were 2-0 down at the Etihad, to be fair. It's a good thing we got that third goal. But they were, yeah, 2-0 down at the Etihad. Is that Etat, Nigerian? Two, two. Sure. Okay. He happen? looks Nigerian. Well, the name sounds Nigerian. Sorry for Palace. Wouldn't be surprised it is Crystal Palace. Martinelli, yeah. I'm coming on. Exactly what I want to see. Nice man. <laughs> Cedric, a bear sad then. <laughs> <laughs> he's like this. Who? <laughs> Cedric. <laughs> Look at his boots. He's I just, he he's just collecting ah. checks. <laughs> Bro, you stop that nonsense in our <laughs> box, man. You see him on his way to Turkey. I don't think he's been confirmed. Nice. He's been, li- he's been linked with the shit. Oh, oh, offside. Come on. He's absolutely killing him with these balls, though. Offside. I don't know. Is yeah, that offside or on? I think, I think he's, he's on. Offside, he's offside. I also think Jesus like, should have clocked him. though that there was an opportunity to run. You see, he wanted it to feet, almost like a one-two. Like Gary to spin and attack that space. Come on, there's a goal in this for you, Gabby. He's just... He needs a goal. Who's coming off? It is Trossard. The <laughs> radicals. Trossard got his goal. Plus three up. He's not going to take off his glove child. He never. Is. And I think he's been fine. Absolutely fine today. I don't know why he's taking them off. He's got to take off Havertz for a He's got to take off 29, like, of course, but he'll never take off his love child. Come on, Martin. That'd be outrageous. <laughs> his love child. Yeah, there we go. And Havertz comes off. Oh, perfect. Honestly, that would be... If Are you going to rephrase him? No, that's his love child. Like, he, no, but you said he's never going to take him off. Oh, OK, yeah, I'm happy. He took off Serious discussion on a Havertz player rating for this game. Ah, don't do that. Four. Three. Actually, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't do anything. He did nothing. Really, really. Like oh, wow. you, you could have not noticed the fact that he was playing football. But you're not so, allowed to say that, though, are you? Because you just get labelled of being a hater. No, like the thing is, I wanted. To, I backed him at the start. I'm like, okay, cool. The manager's decision ultimately. Well done, Emil. Right. Yeah, Let, let's be honest here, right, Don't James? Let's yeah, be honest. Play. He did not have a good game, did he? He wasn't. Didn't do. He didn't do anything. Go right? on, right? He didn't do. I don't think he did anything wrong. Actually, well, oh, that's I could have played that then. Ah, uh, you could have played it. He could have played it. I think it was his first touch of the ball. Martin, well done. He's such Loading a head away down. There. That's good. Here's Hedgehog. Jesus. Oh, oh Jesus. Is it me, but Jesus looks starting to look a bit tired, man? Yeah. He's had a, he's had a weird game, Jesus. Yeah. Some great he's moments. He's going off the boil. Frustrating moments. 
Nice. <laughs> that Ben White ben. does really well. He's he's done okay against Eze. Yeah. Eze's ben White. I think Eze's got the ball. <coughs> he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah. Oh, good though. challenge. Well done, Martin. No foul. No foul. Smith-Rowe. I think we all... Do we all agree that... Of the midfield it's eight options, like, like you know, basically of Havertz, Trossard, Vieira, Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe is the, 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 the one we feel can ball grow ball into that if he can possible. rediscover that potential. Well, but yeah. Martinelli, oh, too heavy. Um, yeah, but so Smith, but Smith Rowe as well. He's he's unreliable. He's really un- he's unreliable fitness wise. Yeah. So I'm not too sure. I'd love it if he. No, but he um, became that player. Though. Going back to the manager said he needs more minutes. And also as well, minutes. Do we, uh, do we overhype players that don't start? Like people so talk so about nice. Nelson, mm. Smithrow. Yeah. Like, like that. Smithrow is a good player, but like, is yeah, he yeah, like that yeah. game changing impact type of You're player? Talking about that people that to? overhypes, people that aren't starting. Talk to my man next to you, Magic. Nelson, Nelson gets overhyped. Nelson gets overhyped as well. Like he's a <laughs> decent player, but like he's nothing special. I've just heard that Jorginho is getting ready, by the way, guys. Okay, I'm happy with that as well. Oh, mind you, I'd take Erdegaard off. Agreed. I wouldn't get Rice off now. At least it's the Premier League. Anything can happen. I wouldn't mess around with that. Um, by the way, Frank, any comments, super chats, or sort of general thoughts coming from the comments section? Uh, that is a good question. Let me just refresh my chat because it keeps disappearing. I don't know why. <laughs> And that will come back to you in a second. Yes, there is a super chat oh, okay. here from Brandon Bree talking. Is the academy dying under McKenna Arteta's tenure? Yes. It's an interesting question. Yes, it is. Go on. Why do you say that? That's easy because he doesn't play young youngsters. He doesn't give him a chance at all. Not even a blink of a chance. He doesn't. It's weird. Bro, we he did young, give Smith Rowe and Saka their chances. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I would had say no that's more Emery though. Yeah, they saved they debuted Emery. under Emery. Yeah. So. No, but he did play them as well. Yeah, yeah, but Saka, Saka was already in the team. Yeah, but I, what, what, I'm, so what I'm saying is, I think what, what he means is obviously not bringing any young, young players oh, through yeah, yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I get what you're saying about Smith Rowe and Saka, you know, thriving under Arteta, but they yeah, made yeah, their no, debut yeah, under It's United. hard though. You've got a young team, and the position right, there's a lot of pressure right. to come step into to give. Yeah, it is, but there's, he's had, there's been chances. He's had ample. Have. Yeah, it's true. There's ample opportunity. The Champions League game he could have. I mean, even the guy, remember when we I went to the Brentford game, Sago Gini, come on for... That's true. We have not seen him since yeah, but he started for Bre- against Brentford as well. Yeah. Right? I'll put it this way. Liverpool, in an FA Cup tie away to Arsenal, <laughs> had, Klopp had the cojones to bring on, is it Conor Bradley? Youngster. He two, brought two, 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 yeah. He bought two. Yeah. yeah, and he locked up Martinelli. It's all about, do you have confidence in your young players? He doesn't. Or are they good enough? That's also a good point as well, because Bradley looks a good player. <laughs> um, so Rice is coming off for Jorginho. There's a bit of a, a wince on Rice. Does he look a bit uncomfortable to you? Nah, I don't think Nah. Yeah. Mm. Probably just didn't, didn't want to come off. He didn't have his best game today, if we're being honest. No, I didn't think he had his best game either. But I, listen, I know we're 3-0 up. You did get an assist though. And I know Havertz wasn't oh. exactly playing well. But we have lost a little bit of presence with I was going to see a shimmy. Have that sound rice coming off. But but the difference there is, James, is is that unlike Havertz, or no name, as well, Declan Rice has got plenty of credit in the bank. He's got a name 29. Plenty of credit in the bank, isn't he? No, no, I agree. I I, I think we've um, we've got plenty of technicians on the pitch, but I think we've lost a little bit of presence in midfield. But maybe maybe Alta sees it as job done, 3-0. which it really should be, to be fair. There's plenty out there to get it done. 20 minutes to go or so. So we never know how many minutes of added time they're going to play, but I don't think anything particularly. There was one injury that maybe might have added two, three minutes. Come on, Emil and Martin. I want to see something. I want you to have really... Nice. Ooh. That's really Ooh. good. Ooh. There it is. Really oh, good. Unlucky. 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 Oh, unlucky. I was good unlucky. Defending That's nice, though. I want to see, I want to Smith see Rose, Jesus, more Lincoln that. Up. Yeah, That's up. good. Because people are now going to, they're going to be calling for Trossard to continue to start. So come on, Martin, Ellie. What Jorginho might do is just give you some control Set. on the ball. Nice. Then. That's good. Oh, oh, oh no, he wants a free ball. Oh, that that's, was a nice that's, ball, Indian. Right. Right. He nearly made it. <laughs> it was, it if he carries on running, he might have. It was a yeah. nice ball. It's a hard ball to fight. He done well. Guys, I think I'm getting some insight on the reason uh, Declan Rice was um, subbed off. I didn't see it myself, but people have noticed the fact that he may have said the words hamstring when he came off the pitch. I told you, he didn't look comfortable. Here's oh. Erdegaard. Oh, no. Back to Saka. Him being Wrap it, bins. Oh, <sighs> not a great effort from Saka. <laughs> but good football from Arsenal. I've seen that um, in a long time. 
So, Brian, where's that? Um, what? Where's that coming from? Online? Well, I, I'm just seeing. I'm just seeing a lot of people saying it on Twitter. There's obviously no official sources or anything. Like this. It's just happened. But it's, there's a lot coming through on Twitter suggesting that he may have said it whilst he was coming off, and obviously people are making their assumptions that he said hamstring. But it's a lot of people saying it. When he when he was coming off, he looked like he was yeah wincing, like he was just pulling a bit of a discomfort face. I mean, it, the hamstring could be tight. It doesn't mean to mm. say he's pulled. No, well, he did. He, he came off against Tottenham. Do you remember with a calf, and then he was straight in the week after. So yeah, you know, yeah. maybe, maybe we got like any, a nine, ten was day it break. Back? Anyway. Maybe it was a back problem. Yeah, in came, it? Isn't it? We got better time. Nine, yeah. ten days to the next game. Yeah, so very true. Away, yeah. Very true. So we worry about that. We have to worry about. It. I mean, and also Partey's rumored to be back nice for Forest. Yeah. Not re- re- reportedly. Potentially on course for that, so let's see. Just made two subs there, Palace. And I'm yeah. surprised that Edward's not featured, and I'm going to tell has got a physical. Come on, but when you're he's awake. not really done anything goal wise, has he? No, Nothing. he hasn't. He should when have. You're... Edward should have. I would have thought anyway. It's not my problem. But... Super chat here from Logical Seven. How can you say he doesn't support young players, and we had this, the, the youngest team in the league last season? Mm. That's a fair point, but what I think, I think no, what I think like, what they're trying to get onto is he's not bringing any players academy, through Hale yes. End. I get what I get, what the suggestion was. I do get yeah. it. That's a good point that that guy made, but it's no. But you made talking, it, you're talking, talking about academy. bringing players through from I did, the academy. Well, say we have a young, I, I wouldn't even go as far as that. I don't. I don't even think it's about bringing young players through because ultimately, if they're if they're good enough, I, I believe they'll play. My thing is more in dead rubbers in the Champions League yeah, yeah. when three four nil up in other in previous games. I think there have been opportunities to yeah, they have. to just give them 10 minutes on the pitch. And whether they're ready or not, I, what the hell do I know, right? But I just feel like it's an opportunity to give them that experience, to show them. And he's done it with Ethan Ranieri before. And Saga Jr. Yeah, yeah. Well. well, he actually played well in that game. Yeah, he did. Played, I thought he did all right. But also, don't take away from the experience that a young player gets from just being on the bench on the first team. Trust me, it's, that's a massive experience for them that's as well. True. I know they want to make a debut, but again, still huge for a young player, academy That's player. a good point. Yeah. You that's made a career point. joining the first team on the bench. To be fair, so. <laughs> You're not wrong. I hold on to some memories. <laughs> some real experience. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed being on the coach of the first team. I can tell it hurt you, though, because any time someone mentions it... Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean that was real. I'm sorry. No, it's not. No, it's the truth, but it's the life, isn't yeah. it? It's no, you're it over it. You're, look at your doing well, I'm doing all right, man. I'm happy, man. <laughs> you're AFTV. <laughs> I know. You have a blessing seeing me every day now. Blessing, man. yeah. <laughs> He was blessed. <laughs> he was blessed. I was blessed. <laughs> Look at it like that. <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. He's Zinni's probably been our best player today, Zinchenko. Zinni's yeah, been good. Zinni's Next been to super. Gabriel. Absolutely super. Obviously with the goals. I don't think people will highlight him though. I reckon when I go to the stadium. That's a, so you're not going to give you were not going to give it to that's Gabriel. That's a crazy pass. I reckon I go to the I'll stadium. Give it to Gabriel. Yeah, Gabriel, you're right. Too, Eze is taking. He's just glad. That was a great. I don't think Eze's lost the ball. You know. That was a. That was just a nonsensical pass from Jorginho. Like, why would you make a pass like that? It was so strange. I will not really Gabriel. Pay attention. Sorry. Two goals. Defended well. No, no, no. I said Zinchenko and Gabriel. Yeah. So, so. People, I guarantee I go to the stadium. No one's going to be talking about Zinchenko. I, get, I, I, I kind of engage now. Zinchenko's had a, like, seems like there's a different vibe sometimes he's, from what he's had, he's had an immaculate game. He's had an immaculate game. I think Gabriel. he's been quality. Yeah, Gabriel. he's been he's been great. Clearing here and there again. Oh, oh, oh he's missed this time. time. Now, go on, go on, Gabby. Push it. Oh, go on, go on, push it. Go on, run. Oh, all you. Oh, run you going faster wide? than them and score, please. Why wide? Well done. Well done. Go on. Oh, lucky man. Why yeah, did he drag it so far wide? Go on. Well done. Suck up. Pass go it. Oh, God. He shot. <laughs> he shot first time. He shot. <laughs> <laughs> Got blocked. Yeah. He's he shot. Progress. That's a foul. That's a foul. Come on. Football's so funny, man, because you see Martin with slamming. acres of space, two men in front of him. It's just like, <laughs> run. run. <laughs> but Tyreek Mitchell is very quick. Yeah, no, 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 very no, good player. When the player's twisting, your, nah. he could, he could, he could he, by this time he's easy. Jesus is strike. tired. Yeah, Jesus is. Jesus ain't oh, that, that, that fast. Also, but, yeah, but it's more just bursting the gut to get there because yeah. you're hungry for the goal. He's tired. Yeah, he's tired as well. That's no, what I said. Let's let's see uh, my man. Gabriel rounds uh, down. Well, well, this doesn't look great. Knee, hamstring, well, Kivio will come on and oh, play oh, centre-back. that pain or not? No, it looks like a knee thing, but... He said, Im- well, he indicated that, so isn't that impact? impact yeah. Oh, fine, OK. So it's actually okay. right, then. Well, we've only got one more window of subs, so... Rule. Yeah, here oh, we go, oh, the final quick. two are coming on. Eddie and Kessio and Yassin. Yes, 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 the smile would be on his face the second I saw it. That's a pound game. 
<laughs> EN's about to come on. Oh, for me, is it? Oh, EN, man. Oh, oh, e EN, <laughs> e EN's about to come on. <laughs> <laughs> Throwback to when we'll we beat Spurs and all come away, on. man. And Turkish has come out saying, I was even singing Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. When was that? <laughs> Last season bro, against Spurs. You know how long we hadn't won in White Hart Lane? I know, so. I know why, bro. I, bro, I was... I lost myself. <laughs> I'll do it again. If, I'll take me back. Take me back, take me back. I remember in that game, times. Eddie had one or two big chances, man. If he'd yeah, scored one of those, yeah, yeah. that would have been... Because he played really well that day. Oh, what a goal that is. How can you compare is? that to the Joe Linton one? What a goal that is. But Gary Neville does that though, he likes yeah, he, Because he knows what he's he, gonna get. He's doing he it, he knows what he's doing. He's doing it to he justify strengthening his position. Because he knows he made it. No, he knows that the, the Arsenal fans will come for him. So yeah, he said yeah. impact. Well, what's what? It's a trolling move. Cool. Oh, I'm serious, what's that? Well, it looks like he's all right, Gabriel. Just I didn't know. See that's my man of the match for me. Gabriel, yeah, yeah. you're man of the match. Yeah. Fair play. It could easily be, it not only did he get, the, well, he got at it least could one easy goal, be Zin, but he's been, his defending's been really good as well. Yeah. Even before he came off the clearing header. Our attack yeah. hasn't been great again. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, more, that, that's a reason why as well. Our mm. attack hasn't been great. I also agree. I don't think it's been a great game. I, no, I, I think 80 minutes in, I can say that now. I mean, it hasn't really been a... Yeah, that's not been fantastic. Good. You know what it reminded me of? You know the 4-0 Bournemouth? Yeah. Because after that, when I got ripped, when I said, I still think the fluidity is a concern. Like, I, f I still feel like that yeah. in this. Mm -hmm. But we annihilated Bournemouth that day, though, nah, in terms man, of from open play. No, but open play chances, we were killing them. I don't think so. It was two penalties, yes. and one of the other goals was um, uh, Jesus' back post. It, 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 it was fortunate, he headed it, it hit the post and then landed to Sacco for a tap-in, remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, oh yeah, that was yeah, 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 you're right. It reminds me of that, but it's, it's, it's a win, 3-0, get the, keep the clean sheet. Still uh, a way to I, I go. I think Arsenal, <laughs> still over 10 minutes. Is it because we, our minutes. expectations when they come back from Dubai, we wanted to we wanted to see more? Is that why do you think you wanted to see? No, I, I wanted three, four goals, we got three goals, calm. But I mean, in terms of like the performance, performance right. like, I, I, just I still have the same questions about the attack. Because would you say Jesus has been sick? Nah. Saka, nah. Trossard, nah. He scored a goal. It's hard, isn't it? Because you're, when you're free, it's like, the, the mad. Space, it's momentum, the space honestly. we had in that, on that counter, I, f I felt like we was going to go again and again. True. It's momentum and a confidence thing, though. Because a lot, uh, all of our, pretty much most of our offensive plays oh, have been out of form and have been misfiring. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But we, we get a game where we score three goals. First, first game of the weekend as well. I think we've, we've genuinely been good. Yeah. Not, oh, yeah, not, we have been good. good. We've been yeah, good. Special yeah. is, the right, is the right... What, what I was saying in the starting 11, I didn't want us to just trickle over the line with a 1-0. I meant, don't play bad. Oh, don't oh, have oh, any oh, slagging off. Good. Good. First time. Unlucky. Oh, oh, Unlucky. Cool. Cool. That's a I saw that run. I that was a great pass. Well. That was a really good genius. pass. Through Georgia. the lines, yeah, he is. You're right, you're not wrong there. Nice. It's the first time I've seen lose the ball. That's good. Heels. Oh. Eddie's on that, it? Yeah. Yeah, that's great, but Arsenal's still trying to keep the press. Ben White's been uh, ben everywhere White's in the last Yeah, he's played. Minute. This is one of his better games this season. Yeah, yeah, looking a lot better. Looked very aggressive and under front foot. Mm -hmm. Oh, how do you not give that back? Is that yeah, right? No, that guy must that's be vexed. I'll be fuming. That's, 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 that's the information pass, the way he played that to him. Yeah, that's basically he's saying he's telling him to get back. back yeah. right. Come on, and he was in a good position as well, I'd, to be honest. I'd be vexed. Yeah, Ryan right on the ball. Mm. Sniffer I want to in the middle. building out with uh, Ryan on that. Nice. Oh, well good. done. This is nice. Really Gone. good football. Martinelli, go on. Oh, wait, where's Martinelli? That's good. Martin in the middle? Nice. Well done, Emil. Yeah. How is him? Here's Martinelli. Goes wide to Saka. There's enough. Wait. Saka's one on with Mitchell. 5v1 here. Inside to Martinelli. Oh, yeah. That's unlucky. Yes. Smithrow keeps it alive. Zinni, 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 find it. Zinni. Keeps the ball, Ben White. Start again, man. Might as well yeah. kill the game. Shoot. He's going to shoot, isn't he? Nah, shoot, shoot. Can't waste, can't waste from there. <laughs> well, did Henny just... Is he all right? Kicks <laughs> it <laughs> anywhere there's space. Don't blame him. Go on. Yeah, Arsenal comfortable now. Here's one Martinelli. Two. Plays oh, a nice one-two with Saka. Good to see them linking up. That's good. Martinelli back inside to Saka. Oh, he's dived there. He's just, yeah, he's just trying to buy there. something there. Arsenal have been doing that all game. Come yeah, on. that's what we do. I'll be honest, we do that a lot. Saliba does really well. Another game where Saliba is just absolutely... Imperious, isn't it? 
That's yeah. the word I'll use for him. He's just imperious. Imperious. Oh, imperious. Yeah. imperious. I was going to say I've never that's a good pass. Imperious. Great pass, in fact. So is that Jorginho? Yeah, yeah. That pass. So, so look that one up. Jorginho. Or imperious, yeah. Yeah. I will. That one sounds like a mint. Imperious. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said, look that up. That's what I was thinking about. I knew you were going to look at me and think. Like he's been an emperor about. in the game. That's what it's essentially saying. Is, uh, uh, imperious. Imperious. Imperious is from the look word that up, emperor. Man. Look that up. That's how Saliba's been today. Oh, it's lovely. Look at Saliba picking up the ball there. No, Goes wide to Mate, finds Zinni. That's brilliant, Zinni. Back. Oh, oh. she oh. Good defending. The I cutback was nice. I'd have driven that straight in the kick off, innit? Mark. He's an understanding in the fullback. Sounds Here's Zinni now. First time. That's really good football. Jip, but that pocket that. Um, right, inside. Oh, try, 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 the ball try, up. It was push brilliant. Marte yeah. does well. Back. Ah. This, is, this is a lot better from Arsenal. And as, as Palace tried to clear, Frank, any comments, super Nothing. chats, and thoughts and Nothing from your own as well? at the moment. So oh. Obviously, Saliba's. People no, obviously were going that, for them. Obviously, when you guys gave him the match, he's definitely got a lot of people asking for. The thing is, he's not even complaining. He was the man of the match. Gabriel was a name that's been mentioned a lot, 100%. And they're making a change now. Is that James Tompkins? Yeah. He's put on weight. He's played. He's played more games than holding the season. Just saying. Apparently, so I just found out that apparently he has been out two months holding. Holding's injured. Still yeah. do. He's holding, he's injured. He's yeah, I know, there was three months. So Still do. The what do you play? What about the, what about the start of the season? Cup game, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right. Even when he's fit, well, yeah, I'll be honest, he ain't getting minutes. He's like their fourth choice centre back. Yeah. <laughs> and he was our number two. Ah, <sighs> anyway. He was our captain at one point. No, we're not so. You're not wrong. <laughs> the good times. Mm -hmm. The good days. That was disgusting, man. <laughs> <laughs> nasty, nasty. You've been a bit harsh, though. No. It's not harsh at all. No, that's oh, nasty. That's nice. Not disgusting. <laughs> that's, that's that's disgusting harsh, is the oh. right word. The guy's now fourth choice at Palace and he was our captain last season. Yeah, that's and nasty. At one point, word. anyway. That's disgusting. <laughs> that's absolutely. A bit good. harsh, bro. A bit harsh. Come on. Scored he did against, his best. Scored against City, man. Did his best, man. I mean, yeah. he's a wholehearted player. What do we think of this Smith Rowe cameo? He's so just not good way. enough. He's, he's looked good. No, yeah, he, like need, he needs sharp. I think he's only lacking sharpness, but that's because he hasn't played enough minutes. I love everything he's trying, though. And he looks to be playing. Yeah, really yeah. With he's a good not intensity. shying away, basically. We look more yeah. fluid. Yeah, he's, he's all right. Yeah, he's all I don't right. mind that. Like, to, like, listen. Shop. Mm. This is the perfect scenario for him to come back, though, isn't it? 3 0 up. You can Still afford to. There's nothing. I've seen more from this cameo than I have from 29 all game. I was going to say that. Well, all game. Like, people say agenda, but that, that's the. And I'm not even saying Emma Smith Rowe's done anything mad. Passes. Yeah, Sorry. it's, yeah. Not, like he's, it's yeah. not like he's been yeah. sensational. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just done. He's just a bit, I, just, he's on I it. see him. Yeah, he's <laughs> on it. He, he wants the ball, pass, move. Jorginho's passing mm. is fucking brilliant. It has been phenomenal. <laughs> 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 what would you laugh at? Oh, he said Italian tax. That's quality. It's so true. I know them ones, bro. Trust me. If the Turkish guy did that, say the same thing. Zinchenko. <laughs> oh, it was good, though. Lost on me. Italian tax. They're confused. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, you're adding more, you know, sauce to it to because it, he's, oh. he plays for your country. Oh, I see. We will do it. Oh, I get it. I get we will it. do it. We will do it. Trust me. Yeah. Fucking world class, that Jorginho. <laughs> Italian tax, yeah. Oh. You do it a lot, actually. I do loads. Do loads. If you spot it. Italian tax. But yours isn't really. I don't know. It's not. Probably sorry, Jim. It's not vacant. No, it's not. But it's a side it's tax. There is a tax. tax. Oh, man. Oh, Nash what did he do to him then? That's good FC. Only what did he do? Oh, wow. Do you know what I miss <laughs> yet? Do you the see FIFA that? Streets. Tariq Mitchell's playing. Remember how much I was on, on, on him to bring him in? Bro, oh, you bought him in, bro. Don't think you were ready to bring you bought him in. Man. What a player. <laughs> I'm watching him now thinking, bro, wow, that's so... He is a good player, but I just... Yeah. I overguessed him. He's too good for that team, man. He has his class. And Arsenal are just... He'll leave this in the 90th minute. I really, he, really, he I pray to. that yes. Tottenham don't get him. Go on, one more. Hey. I would hate... Who? What is it? I would nah. hate if they got him. Nah, he's not a Tottenham. He's not a Tottenham, Look like he beat him, but Zinni recovered well there. Oh, what's the same? 
on and off the pitch, weak decisions, wasted pass, potential, wasted taking potential. Taking us backwards. Wasted you know what? I can't argue with that. Yeah, they're right. I can't argue with that. Balance. Well, they're right. Steve Parrish, watching on. <coughs> Roy should have hung should, them up. Yeah, he, when you know what I mean. When he Roy Hodgson should not be managing this team. Well, wow, that banner is prominent. Boy. Yeah, Roy. and don't forget they've just, just spent a lot of time preparing. <laughs> Don't forget the brought that to trying to focus on the set beats. <laughs> and that, then, is, that is clear to see, boy. There's in the box. Oh, no, please. Oh. And it's headed over. Super chat. I don't... I, <laughs> Imagine Palace score there, the Palace going down. <laughs> no, no, that's... take it back! <laughs> I've seen Man United that many a time, so they're glazing the <laughs> No, but do you think they're wrong, though? No. No, that's, no that's, listen, oh, they're, they're right. absolutely right. Pa- there's no, another one. No shared, no shared vision, no structured plan. It's true. Listen, yeah. I, I, I sympathise with no, Palace fans. Credit, credit to the fans, man. I get yeah, it. Yeah, I rate that. I rate that. Super chat here from Maxi like. naming Gabriel was his man of the match. Are we all in agreement for Gabriel? Let's for get a poll. Yeah. Yeah. Who, me. who should the four so. players on the poll be? Gabriel, Zinchenko. I like Odegaard's performance, personally. But mm. Odegaard and Saliba? No mm. chance. Ben White. Gabriel. Nah, man. Raya, Raya ahead of Odegaard. four options up. Yeah. Raya, Gabriel, Ben White and Zinchenko. No chance. So I said one one last time. So Zinchenko and Gabriel for sure. Raya Saliba has with. to be in. Raya and Ben White. Saliba has to be in. Ben White's a shout. Why, ben is, why is it four though? For you can pole. put up to four on the pole. Well, we'll do three. Fine. We know. Raya, yeah, we'll two. Two. Zinchenko, Gabriel. We'll chuck them in there. We'll get a poll going. Frank will give us the results of the poll in four and a half minutes time. And yeah, look. Hang them up, Roy. Yeah. So just just. Do yourself a favour, man. Oh, really? Sit yeah. down, bro. You know what I mean? Sit down. It's a classic case of somebody that too, like, obsessed with themselves. They need to understand that you've, there's a shelf life. You've reached it. I think Go I'm gracefully. Obsessed with himself. Harsh, it's harsh. not harsh, bro. I don't think he's harsh. done that bad. Come on, imagine if you was a palace supporter. You... He, nah, he should have come and just done the job after Vieira, keep them yeah, up and going. After, exactly, yeah, that's, that's what I'm what saying. At the end of last season. I, agree, yeah, I, I, I think agree, it's yeah. hard for someone to... to I look more at Palace to recognise that, man. Yeah, yeah. Steve Parrish has done a work. Man of the match, Gabriel. Gabriel for they've Paris. given it to Gabriel for the... I mean, it's James, right? So, as you know, I'm a big boxing fan. This is something that affects boxers a lot. Yeah. They've been good in their time, but they just don't know when to retire. Retire at the top. Yeah, you did your thing last season. Don't forget, when he took over, Give it. Just watching Eddie score. Oh, Eddie. Oh, just. <laughs> Did you say he just, just watched it? <laughs> You're laughing at your own guy. He could have. I'm laughing at you. Because what he's saying. And he's saying it's four pound now as well. He could have he ran there. Man just said, I'm and then took it on his left. Score. What's his name? He's making a good point. He went, no, just stop him to watch Eddie <laughs> score. <laughs> And he tripped over, left the ball behind. He, he was unlucky. He had an absolute mess of it. He was unlucky. <laughs> anyway, to get back to my original point. He could have just taken that on his stride and, and hit with his left. He stopped Don't forget, seven, when... He could have done many things, Justin. When, when, <laughs> um, and then he started to him. <laughs> when Roy took over from Here is. Vieira. No, no, he got stopped. Eddie's, Eddie's on the Eddie's ball. Give score. it! Roy, 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 please, Roy, 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 Finish! Roy! Him to come on. Yes! Like, they're going to say Trossard. Is that what you predicted Trossard. him forever? That, that is a bad boy finish. Did four anyone else predict 4-0? Oh, I think. Because you're top. I said 3. You can't no. afford that. 4-0. That's four. not an easy finish. I said 4-0. No, 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 that's four four not four. an easy finish. That's an Shout unreal finish. That's unreal finish. That's unreal. That is unreal. That's 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 unreal. You tell him. <laughs> who, who, who? I missed it. Eddie. Five, Five pounds. <laughs> hey, I'm happy to say it. Say no more. You know uh, I've got zero to my name. You always say I chat his name. I'll have, I'll... No, but don't you think he's worthy of a mention? Who? That's a Eddie. great That's a really good ball. That's a great ball. That's a great goal. That's a great ball. Great goal. That is a bad ball. It was a nice ball. That's a bad boy finish. People, yeah, yeah. Yeah. listen. He's a bad guy. Not as good as last season, but please put a little bit more. Yeah, no, no, no. Yes, he's, well, not, yes. he's not. He's not no, good. Don't forget, he's not been really good, but he's up. He's probably our best finish at the club. Yeah, How many times this Martinelli? season have, have yeah, players played that? People have said that. People have said that. No, people are saying that. 
He's a bad footballer. Martinelli, if I give him ten, if I give him ten chances in front of goal, I'm backing him to score at least seven or eight. Really? That's a finish, yeah. Bro. I can't think of anyone finish. else in our team that gets that high. Do you agree? I don't, I don't yeah. say Do you agree? Clinical Martinelli's finisher, a bad boy finisher. He's, I think he's one of our best. Finishers. He's one of yeah, our best. Yeah. 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 I agree. Defo. Four. I put, I put him up with. I don't think we've got an out-and-out killer of a finisher. No, no we haven't. No, no. I, think, I think him and Trossard are two Good of our... Good God, again! No, do wait, it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. No, wait. Do it again. No, wait. I'm you sick might, of that. You might have a point, you know. You might have a point. <laughs> it's a good finish, shot. And people have been talking shit, shit about Frank Lampard. Yeah, yeah, he's been talking shit. shit on him. Shit. What do you mean? I, no, I he's need that. Bro. I shit on him, yeah. bro. I can't Martin do Martinelli, bro. And how many times this season has Martinelli had those last two passes in behind? He hasn't. Doesn't make any sense. He's so far he away like, from you know helping him. I was saying that the 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 break was probably doing Who good. Play, is it Jorginho again? Yeah. I told you where those passes. What a pass. Pay him. Italian. Tax my <laughs> <laughs> He's well cast. <laughs> super chat here from oh, Super Chat here. We've got bigger fish to fry. No, Champs League and EPL. Up, man. Cheers, well, let's get a zip chat. But you know when you're in front of goal straight after finishing like that, you're probably you second. He's yeah. gonna keep us gonna read it. Yeah. Killer. Said, no. He does his does, nah, he they put everything. Yeah. Bye, go on, Frank, your super chat. Oh, we've got sorry. a few super chats coming Back. in from Come on. Major Boy. We've got bigger fresh to fry in Champions on. League and English Premier League, and they've got one more. Uh, I think someone's calling for Arteta out in the, in the group chat. Demar Clark, Arteta out. I Shut think it. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> Roy. I think you meant to say Roy. Race Wait, sorry, was that older than Frank? That's it. For, yeah, okay, that's cool. it. Yeah, sorry, yeah. apologies. Um, full time as well. Full time. Arsenal oh five, Palace that nil. And like, can we reflect now on that 90? It was comfortable, right? Yeah, Not yeah. just because yeah. of the 5-0, yeah. but we, I, we never looked troubled by Palace. Yeah. Did we get into full fifth gear? No, probably not till that last 10 minutes. But I just felt Arsenal looked in total control the whole way through. And then the we end did. we opened them up, which is yeah. what I, which I, is what <coughs> I wanted to see. Because <coughs> the opportunities were there, but the thing about it is, yeah, you know when the opportunity... I, f- I think Martinelli's also... You see how you said best, probably best in front of goal, not, not the greatest. But no, he's when, when, when you've got space in behind, out of the four attackers we got, Martinelli is the one that can peel off. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's what he did today. Because to, yeah. at 3-0, I was saying that, you know, we still haven't created enough chances, but Martinelli finds a couple. We, 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 I, I did say as well that <coughs> with, with Martinelli uh, coming off the bench when players are tired. Remember I said that? Yeah. That was the perfect he did, yeah, he did. And he did exactly that. Should've so fair play to him, man. Yeah. I, is, it, is it mad mm. to change a man of the match to say no. Martinelli's in there? Is that crazy? That foundation was built before he yeah, came on. Yeah, Gabriel still yeah. deserves it. Yeah, I, I, I agree. He's able to come on because of the yeah, work. I like Martinelli. Is it, Palace, yeah, oh, really? <laughs> is it Palace being tired or Arsenal looked a lot more f- a lot more fluid when Smith was in That's a good point. A bit of both, but I think that today both. we also, like, like, like James said, yeah, and I've said this quite a bit, I rarely see us go through one-on-one. Yeah. And we've just seen it twice, twice yeah, yeah, in quick yeah. succession. And so goals for it. More of that, man. I want to be able to flick the switch because I don't mm. mind the dominating, controlling style. But there's times in those games where I feel like we've needed to, you know, flip it to gear four like like we did today. And it's good to see five 0 on the first game back after a shit run like that. It's the perfect. I, I, I'm going to give the team credit as well because um, I, I, did, I didn't see five 0 to be honest. Given that we were previously in a poor place to come back with a 5-0 win like this is, is really good because I, I thought probably, <clears> I <throat> predicted 2-0. I knew we'd win or I thought we'd win, but I didn't think it'd be this convincing. I expected more from Palace and I've got to say, regarding Palace, I think they need a change of manager ASAP. Their fans yeah. just then, they looked bad. Like they were holding the banners and the players were coming over. And, and don't saying, forget those, ban- those banners were pre-prepared, obviously. Nice. So they know what time it is. No, no, no. The only person they clapped there was Eze when Eze was oh, doing this. Well, he was at fault for uh, mm. one of the goals. City got really easy games. Yeah, that Newcastle win was yeah. a bit of a sucker. Fluidity though, Tossi, you make a great <clears> point <throat> there. Because Georgina was throwing great balls past. And I'm not saying that's down to Palace being tired. He's finding players that have... That, um, and it's yeah, been fluid build ups. So I thought really good. I thought Smith Rowe looked very busy, did some really nice things. And and but, but 
fair enough, they did really well, but what I'm saying, the foundations are really yeah. good. No, I'm not when you're coming that. on and I, you're 3-0 up, that no, gives yeah. you a chance to express yourself a bit more, right? Yeah, but there's, so, been, there's been games we've had this lot, season yeah. where we've been, been oh, having, we've been, had an easy, comfortable lead and the plays, the subs we've made haven't really yeah, impacted yeah, yeah. the game yeah, it's like true. that. It's true. And if anything, we've conceded goals. Like, I think about, is it Wolves? <coughs> um, <coughs> Nottingham Forest at home. Like, we've had games with have been Palace were poor, though, isn't it? Especially in that. I can't yeah, yeah. Even they are left half of that second anything, half. We, it's almost like the we probably up. created really more bad. open play chances against Wolves <coughs> when we won, only won 2-1 than, yeah. than yeah, today yeah. 5 -1. I can't lie, I'm I very, I'm very happy. happy. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm, happy I'm actually very I'm happy. I'm happy. This is what I wanted. Yeah, is that, that's, that's, that's it. I have, it's a long time since I've said I want this to happen for Arsenal and it's happened. So I'm, I can't I'll be wait honest, to I'm chat to Kane to see what he thinks about it. Very happy. You see, when we were tuning up and it was from set-piece goals, Oh, the my thing days. Was, oh, sorry. Well, sorry. Because on box... Uh, yeah, go, on, go, on, go, on, say, go on, go on. I think on box to box, I just clocked because D parked here as well. He needs to come back. You know, the Crystal yeah. Palace fan. He was, he was ripping into Martinelli and I said, you better watch out he don't double it because he said, what, two goals? Yeah, I said he might double his tally for the season tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me see him, man. Let me yeah, see well, him. I've, I've got to say as well, that <clears> assist from Eddie was sub long. <laughs> How much is that? Seven pounds. Seven pounds. Pound. <laughs> Round up, ten pounds. <laughs> charity. <laughs> what charity, man? Why not? What charity? Donating it to charity, bro. Yeah, which one? I don't know which one yet, but we'll find it. Fair enough. But seriously, that assist out of this world. I um, I thought Arsenal came back, and even that first half had a sharpness to their game. Final third, there was something lacking, I agree. Uh, but there was a sharpness and a zip in our passing. There were good combinations, there were rotations. I saw at times Zinchenko and White overlapping. I saw at times the wing backs holding, the wingers holding the touch lines. I saw Havertz dropping wide, so Trossard could make a run inside. I just saw a mixing up from Rice and Zinni building up to Rice and Erdegaard building up. And we were just asking different questions. And do you know what? It, it, you can't quantify this. We looked mentally fresh today. And that's what you hope a trip to Dubai and you know ten yeah two weeks without kicking football does. You hope it brings you back raring to go. And I don't think City and Liverpool fans are sitting there shaking, going, "Oh no, they've won five 0 But do the most you can to just say to them, 5 0 thanks." Like we've we've, we've shrugged it off. Yeah. We're ready to go. That's all oh, you can do. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with that. No, the, man the manager will be very pleased today. I mean, mm. I think there's something like 21 shots on goal and five goals. I mean, it wasn't that far back that we was nearly. Was it 30 odd shots we had in a game yeah, and we no couldn't goal. score West one? Ham. Yeah, so the manager will be pleased. And uh, I've, do you think 5 0 flattered us? I don't no, think it did. It didn't. No. Nah, man. I don't Arsenal, think it did. man. Total Arsenal, control. do me a favour. Total control. Book another ticket to Dubai. Go back out there. Got another Jordan break. Man, <laughs> Send there. And, and Robbie as well. Go back as well. Why not? Turkish was pouring <laughs> shade on that luck. salt baiting. Do you think we need, no, more, we need more salt baiting? <laughs> Oh, when did that from Shane? So I've had a conversation with you where you were dissing bro. him hard for that. I don't, bro, that's, that's a Turkish man, but you're having a dis a <laughs> Nah, bro, I'd not do that. Oh, you say now he was feeding him meat like that. <laughs> let him feed man steak because more Arteta that got that got ripped for that. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah, yeah Arteta. Yeah. So do you, are you going to take that? But well, whatever they did, it worked. Nah, but whatever they did, it I worked. I don't rip Nusret. I don't rip my people. No, but in all seriousness, I think I'd said at the start that that break came at the best time and they looked a bit rejuvenated today. Okay, we know that Palace were, are not all that, so we got factor that into it as well. The best time. If I mean, you're coming back off some bad results, you've got Palace at home. Perfect. That's not a, without being too disrespectful, you know what I'm saying. It's I right. totally understand, yeah. yeah we Arsenal were good, Palace weren't, but we took advantage of that, got five goals. Big thanks to Turkish, Cecil, Tosin and Laurie as always. Big thanks to Frank, big thanks to all of you who've been, I can't even do an intro without you making a mess. Here you go. It's an outro. <laughs> It's an outro, you're right. It's I said intro. Everyone, big thanks for joining us. Fan cams will be out. Cecil will be with us in the studios doing the fan cams and at the ground as well. There'll be a full time show, so download the FTV Plus app so you can have your say. It's really easy to do and it's completely free. Download the app via well, iOS devices, Android, whatever it is. Jump on, free to do, free to sign up to Fan Zone. You can have your say at full time. We want to hear your thoughts. I've lost my voice because I've celebrated a goal for over a month. So there we go. Everyone, <laughs> big thanks. Catch you all in a bit. <laughs>